Speaker man, speaker man, open up. Huh? Who's at my house this early in the morning? Oh my gosh. It better not be that dumb mailman again. Wait a second. Uh, TV man? What are you doing at my house? Dude, something really bad happened that I have to tell you about. Oh, uh, really, bro? All right, here, come inside. Well, bro, what happened? Well, dude, it was very unexpected, but this morning I woke up and TV woman wasn't by my side. Wait a second. What the heck? Uh, what happened to her? Well, at first I thought she got kidnapped, but she was killed. Wait, what? TV woman got killed? Yep, she did, but I don't know who did it. What? How do you not know who did it? You didn't see anything happen? No, I didn't see anything happen. It was like three in the morning. But thankfully, the police officer brought in some suspects. All right, that's good. Well, bro, I'm sorry for your loss. So just let me know if you need anything. Well, bro, I actually need you to do something for me. I need you to go down to the police station and investigate who killed my girlfriend. Wait, what? You want me to do that? Really? Yeah, because I need to work on her funeral stuff. Oh, all right, bro. Well, I'll find the killer just for you. And after I find him, he's going to go to prison for the rest of his life. Yep, he sure is. Thank you so much, speaker man. Yeah, no problem, bro. So I'm going to head over to the police station right now, and I'm going to find that killer so it can get revenge on him. And, uh, hey there, Mr. Policeman. Oh, uh, hello there. What brings you here? Oh, I just came here because my best friend's girlfriend was killed. And apparently you guys have suspects in the back that I have to take a look at. Oh, yes. We have five suspects in the back, and you're going to have to look at every single one of them and figure out which one is the killer. All right, mister. I got this. Well, let me go ahead and bring out the first suspect. All right, Mr. Policeman. And here is your first suspect. Uh, all right. Wait a second. Hello, Timmy. What are you doing here? I had no job, bro. I did not do it. I don't even know why I'm here. I was literally just working at the grocery store, and when this guy came, and he took me here and said I killed TV woman. Mr. Policeman, why do you think this little kid killed TV woman? Well, because he is a suspect. Are you serious right now? Oh, uh, well, little Timmy, apparently you're a suspect, so can you prove to me that you're not somehow? Yes, bro, I can prove that I'm not the killer. I was literally at the grocery store earlier this morning, and I literally checked in. And if I was at the grocery store, I could not be around TV woman. Here, follow me. I'll show you that I was at the grocery store. Uh, all right, little Timmy. <laughs> Mr. Policeman, I'll be right back. And now we're at the grocery store, and look at this. There is literally no one working here because I was literally working here this morning and now nobody working here because I was inside of a jail cell at the police station. And look at this paper right here. It literally said that I clocked in this morning. It does? Oh, uh, okay. Well, I can't really read that. But I believe you, little Timmy. Plus, I don't even talk to TV woman. Like, why would I even kill her? That would just be so silly because I don't even, like, have a reason to kill her or anything. Well, uh, now that you're at the grocery store, do you want, like, some free food or something? You can have, like, a Hershey bar if you want. Oh, no thanks, but thanks for the offer. Okay, speaker man. Well, uh, I'm just gonna go back to work because I did not murder her, okay? Okay. Yeah, all right, bro. But I really hope you find who the killer is because uh, that's really bad, and I'm really sad that she died. Yeah, me too, bro. I'm gonna head back to the police station. Hopefully, I can find the killer. All right, good luck, Spiegel man. Yep, thanks a lot. Well, Mr. Policeman, I'm back, bro. Wait, what? Well, why are you back so soon? Well, I'm back because I literally proved that little Timmy wasn't the killer. Oh, all right. Well, it seems like the first suspect wasn't the killer. Well, let me go ahead and get the second suspect. This guy is definitely the killer. Oh, all right, yeah, hopefully he is. And if he's not, we still have three more people to look at. And here is your next suspect. Oh, all right. Wait a second. Mr. Old Man, are you serious? Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. I did not kill her. You didn't kill her, really? Yes, I promise I didn't kill her. Well, I think this old man is actually live, Speaker Man, because I saw him with a knife today. Wait, what? You saw him with a knife, Mr. Police Officer? Okay. Mr. Old Man, can you explain? The police officer is lying. It wasn't a knife. It was an axe. An uh, axe? Are you serious? You could have easily killed her with the axe also. Well, I didn't kill her. This morning, I was busy chopping down my trees. And then the police officer came over and said, I need to take you in because you have an axe. And that was literally the only proof that he gave. Now, I can literally show you where the trees I was chopping down were. Really, dude? All right. And I also want you to show me what you were doing with those trees. What I used the trees for? I was helping build a house, dude. I wouldn't even use the trees for anything else. No, come on. Follow me. I'll show you where it happened. All right, Mr. Old Man. And this is the place that I chopped down the trees. And as you can see, there's literally no more trees here because I already built them into the house. Look at this. I'm literally building a house for somebody, dude. I did not kill your friend. All right, old man. Well, that makes a whole lot of sense why you had axe. Yeah, and look, here's the logs right here. I'm not lying to you, speaker man. Well, I got a question for you. Was there anyone else working on this house with you? Oh, well, there was a guy that was working on this house with me. I think his name is, like, Johnson or something. I kind of found him on the street and I just, uh, told him to help me. Really, dude? Oh, alright. Well, where's this Johnson fellow? Well, he should be upstairs. Uh, let's see if he's up here. Oh, alright, yeah, let's see. Oh, Johnson, where are you? Oh, hey there, Johnson. <laughs> we just have to come here and investigate because, uh, we're trying to find a murderer here. Right, you say murderer? Oh, old man, what is this guy saying? Oh, I don't really know. Well, uh, Johnson, it seems like you got some blood on your shirt. So did you, by chance, murder anybody today? <laughs> red paint. Oh, did you just say red paint, Johnson? Wait a second, red paint, really? Yeah, <laughs> red paint. Uh, Mr. Old Man, what did he just say? Well, he said that it's red paint. And we were painting some stuff red, so that makes a lot of sense. Well, 
Tom Johnson. You can go back to work. <laughs> All right, well, Mr. Old Man, thanks a lot for your help. Yeah, no problem. Well, uh, good luck on finding this killer. Hopefully, you can find some evidence soon. Yeah, hopefully I can. And guys, I have three more people to look at. So hopefully one of these people are actually murdering guys. I need clues super duper bad. And Mr. Policeman, I'm back. Well, was he the killer? No, he wasn't the killer. He also had a front there. I was kind of suspicious, but apparently he just had red paint all over his clothes. Oh, okay. Well, let me go get the next suspect. Hopefully we can find this murderer soon. Yeah, I really hope we can. And here's your next suspect. Ah, uh, hello there, Speaker Man. Skippy Toll, you have to be the killer. Why, why would I be the killer, Speaker Man? Well, Skippy Toll, you are super duper evil. You caused all the havoc in our city. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. Well, uh, I'm not the killer. All right, well, do you have any proof of you not being the killer? Uh, yeah, you can, like, go check my house if you want to. Well, all right, Skippy Toll, well, here, come with me. We can go to your house, and if there's no evidence of you killing TV woman, then you'll be let free. But if there is evidence, we're gonna have to put you in jail until you're proven not guilty. All right, Speaker Man, that sounds like a deal. Well, let's go to my house, and I promise you, I did not do anything to TV woman. I would never do that. All right, Skippy Toll, whatever you say, we'll see about that. Here's my house, Speaker Man, but just be cautious because there is some stuff on the floor that I forgot to clean up. Uh, all right, Skippy Toll, yeah. Wait, what the heck? Uh, why are there poods everywhere? Uh, don't worry about it, Speaker Man. What? Well, uh, let's just continue through the house. You can look at everything if you want to. Uh, all right. Well, this is already suspicious, oh my gosh. Why do you have so many corpses on the ground? What the heck even is this? Oh, don't worry, Speaker Man. Uh, they're just Halloween decorations. Well, uh, you can check every single room if you want to. Like, you can check the downstairs and the upstairs, and you can, uh, you can check anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And trust me, there is not going to be a single thing inside of here. Oh, uh, all right, Skippy Toil. Well, I'm going to check down here first, so let's go down and... Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is super duper creepy. Uh-oh. Skibbity Toilet? Why is there a skeleton corpse right here inside of the jail cell? Uh, I don't really know, Speaker Man. That's really weird. I didn't even put that there. Really, Skibbity Toilet? Uh, all right. Well, I see them all over the house, so that's kind of suspicious. Well, let's see over here. And wait. Skibbity toilet? Why are there spikes right here? Uh, I don't know, Speaker Man, but here, give me a second, okay? Wait a second. Where are you going? Why do you have a mop? Oh, I'm doing nothing. Don't worry. Just uh, stay right there. Wait a second, Skibbity toilet. Why are you mopping up that guy's body? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't mopping up anything. Well, uh, you can leave my house now because I did not do it. No, 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 Skibbity toilet. I have one more room to check, okay? So I'm going to go up here and let's see what is up here, huh? Well, there's nothing suspicious so far. Well, wait a second. Skibbity toilet? What is this right here? Oh, don't worry. All right, that's just my safe. And uh, there's literally nothing inside of it, Speaker Man. You don't have to open it. There's nothing inside of it, really. All right, here. Let me just open it real fast. And there's a lot of money, but wait a second. Uh, what is this, Skibbity Toilet? Oh, that, uh, that's nothing. Skibbity Toilet, this is blood in a bottle. Why do you have blood in a bottle? Uh, I don't know, Speaker Man. It was probably from, like, some other guy. Oh, really, Skibbity Toilet? Then why is it in your house and your secret vault? Uh, I don't know. I was just saving it for later. Yeah, all right. Well, you know what, Skibbity Toilet? Nothing is adding up here. So I'm going to bring you back to the police station. We're going to have to do some testing to see whose blood this is. And if it is TV Woman's, then you're gonna get arrested for life. What? Are you serious? Uh, okay, well, it's not hers, okay? So let's just go back to the police station, and I guess I'll just sit there until the results come in. Alright, yeah, let's go back to the police station. I think you're gonna get arrested. And we're back, Mr. Policeman, and I have some evidence against Skibbity Toilet. Alright, perfect. Skibbity Toilet, go to your jail cell while we test this evidence. Oh, man, okay, whatever. Well, what evidence did you get? Well, Mr. Policeman, first off, he had a whole lot of bodies on the ground at his house. And second off, I found this in a secret vault. It's literally blood in a bottle. Whoa, okay, that's some serious evidence. Well, let me take that off your hands, and I'm gonna go run some tests on And while I'm running those tests, you can talk to the next suspect. All right, Mr. Policeman, yeah, bring out the next suspect. And guys, I really wonder if that is actually TV One's blood. Because if it is, that means that Skippy Toll is a murderer. And here is your next suspect, and I'm gonna go start the test on this thing now. Oh, uh, all right, wait a second. Cameraman, what are you doing here? Honestly, Speaker Man, I don't even know why I'm here, dude. I was just, like, minding my business at my house, but I think they just had to bring one of TV Woman's friends. Really, dude? I don't think that's what they do. Uh, no, I'm I'm pretty sure that's actually what they do because they literally just walked up to my house and said I had to go with them. And obviously, I'm gonna go with them because I don't want them to like be mad at me and arrest me or anything. Yeah, all right, bro. Well, okay, cameraman, do you have any evidence that you are not the killer? Well, like I said, I was just chilling at my house, bro. Like, we could go to my house and I could show you that, like, I haven't made my bed today. Uh, all right, yeah, whatever that means. Yeah, let's head to your house. And if we find any evidence, you're gonna have to be in the jail cell. All right, whatever works. Now, come on, speaker man, let's go upstairs and I'll literally show you that I haven't even made my bed today. They literally just dragged me out of my bed and I wasn't even able to have time to make it. And now I was at the police station for the whole entire day. Literally, look at this, bro. I don't even have my blanket all the way up to my bed. I mean, yeah, that is kind of true. Well, cameraman, I don't think that evidence is really gonna work. Do you have anything else to prove that you're not the killer? What? Are you serious, speaker man? You literally know that I'm like the least person to kill TV woman. But uh, yeah, I actually do have a little bit more evidence if you want to see. All right, yeah, bro. Here, show me. It. All right, what time was she killed last night? Well, you want to know what time she was killed? Uh, I think she was killed at like 3 a.m. They said. All right, well, look at this. If you look at my sleep monitor right here, it literally says 
that I was asleep at 3 a.m. Uh, all right, bro. I can't really read that, but yeah. I guess it does say that you were asleep at 3 a.m. So, bro, it seems like you're not the killer. See, I told you, Speaker Man. And you only have one more suspect that goes, so hopefully that guy is the killer. Because if he's not the killer, then we're not going to know who killed TV one. Yeah, that's true. Well, we should have skipped me toilet. Because that blood in the container is literally getting looked at. Well, I'm going to head back to the police station. Thanks a lot, cameraman. Yeah, no problem, Speaker Man. See you later. Good luck. Thanks, and guys. I really hope we find the killer soon. I think it's either going to be Skibbity Toilet or this next person we look at. So let's go back to the police station and figure out who it is. Hey, Mr. Policeman, cameraman was not the murderer for sure. He showed me evidence that he was asleep last night at 3 a.m. And that was the time that TV woman got killed. All right, then. Well, I'm still writing those tests on Skibbity Toilet's blood. And it should be done after this. But this is the last suspect. So Skibbity Toilet's blood comes back negative, And this next suspect is not the killer. And we're just going to have to try another day. All right. Well, hopefully one of them are the killer. Yup. Well, here's your last suspect. Crazy fangirl, please come out. Uh, why do you lock me up in there? I didn't do anything. Because you are TV man's crazy fangirl. And if you're TV man's crazy fangirl, then you probably kill TV woman. What? I would never. Wait a second. TV man's fangirl, why are you here? I don't know. I didn't kill TV woman. Really? You didn't kill her? All right. Well, can you prove to me that you didn't? Uh, no. I don't want to. What? You don't want to? Well, if you don't prove it to me, then I think you're actually going to be the killer. No, I would never do anything bad to TV man or his family. I'm just a crazy fangirl. Yeah, all right. Whatever you say. Oh, but it seems like the testing is done. Wait, what? It's already done? Oh, uh, okay. TV man's crazy fangirl, stay right here. Mr. Policeman, what did the results come back as? Well, here, let me grab the blood and let me go back to my computer. All right, let's see. And it seems like this is from the TV species. Wait a second, that is from the TV species? No way. Yeah, well, uh, let me see what color blood cells it has. And it seems like it has purple and blue blood cells. So, what's that mean, Mr. Policeman? Well, if I match those blood cells up with TV woman's blood cells, it seems like it comes to a perfect match, which means it was Skibbity Toilet. No way, it was actually Skibbity Toilet that killed TV woman? Yup, it sure is. This is TV woman's DNA. No way, I can't believe it. So, crazy fangirl, you're free to go. See, I told you it wasn't me. I would never do anything like that. Yeah, all right, whatever you say. Well, Mr. Policeman, now that we know that Skibbity Toilet is a murderer, is he gonna spend the rest of his life in jail? Yup, he sure is. Ah, uh, you caught me. Skibbity Toilet, why did you do this? Because I felt like it. I love causing havoc. Oh my gosh, we should have known from the start that it was you. Now that we know who the killer is, Mr. Policeman, I'm gonna tell TV Man that it was Skibbity Toilet, all right? All right, thanks for the help, Speaker Man. Yeah, no problem. And guys, I cannot believe that Skibbity Toilet. Ah, <sighs> TV Man, this video gave me so much fun. Yeah, but I'm getting pretty hungry, Speaker Man. Yeah, honestly, now that you say that, I'm getting super hungry as well. Well, do you have any food inside your kitchen? Uh, I'm not really sure. Here, let's go see real quick. Well, huh? We have some apples and bananas right here. Do you want that? Uh, no, not really. That doesn't look good to me. Yeah, me neither. Here, let me check the fridge, and there's nothing inside. Bro, what are you serious? Oh, my gosh. I literally got no good food in my house. Yeah, you don't. You should have gone grocery shopping or something. Yeah, I know, dude. Well, wait a second. That just gave me an idea. Uh, what's your idea, Speaker Man? Dude, what if we literally went to Little Timmy's store, and then we got some food from there? You know what, Speaker Man? That's a good idea. Let's just go get some food at Little Timmy's store. Yeah, dude. Let's go do it. And TV Man, we made it to Little Timmy's grocery store, so let's go inside and let's see. Oh, hey there, Little Timmy. Oh, hey, yeah, bros. What's going on? We were just playing some video games, and we got super duper hungry, so now we need some food. Oh, okay, bro. Let's take your time. All right, thanks, little Timmy. Well, TV man, what do you want? Oh, uh, well, I obviously don't want apple and banana because I already didn't want that at your house. But look, there are some Doritos. Okay, I'll take these Doritos. Oh, yeah, Doritos are the best gaming snacks. And wait a second. There's pizza as well. No way. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, I think I'm going to get the pizza and the Doritos. Yeah, me too. And speaker man, are you going to be paying for this? Oh, uh, wait a second, dude. I thought you were going to be paying for this. Uh, no, I didn't even bring my wallet. Brian, I didn't even bring mine either. Oh, my gosh, speaker man. Well, we got to get this food somehow. Yeah, we really do. I'm starving right now. Well, how are we going to get it? Honestly, I think we just walk out the front door and uh, act like we don't have anything. Dude, are you serious? Oh, my gosh. All right, well, hopefully little Timmy doesn't get mad at us. All right, little Timmy. Well, uh, we didn't find anything that we want, so we're going to walk out of here. Yep, yep. Uh, we haven't found anything. Sorry, little Timmy. Wait a second. Speaker Man, why do you have Doritos in your hand? Oh, uh, uh, these? Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man, are you serious? Hey, Timmy Man, and what do you have? Oh, uh, I don't have anything, little Timmy. You can check. Ah, uh, okay. It doesn't seem like you have anything. But speak, oh man, why are you trying to steal? Dude, uh, uh, accidents happen, you know? Uh, you know what? I'm calling the police. You better stay right here. Wait, what? You're calling the police? Oh my gosh, why did you have the Doritos out in your hand? Bro, because I was literally hungry. Well, you could have bought them out a little bit later. We didn't even get outside the store yet. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that's true. I'm sorry. Wee, wee. You guys are under arrest. Wait a second. Who is that? That is not a regular cop. Oh, uh, what the heck? Boys, you are under arrest. Camera, Camera woman. woman. Yep, it is me, and I am a cop. Now put your hands behind your back, mister. You guys.
has to go to jail. Wait a second. We're actually going to jail? Yep, you shouldn't have so sorry. Wait, what? Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. Well, I can't believe that we just got arrested by Camera Woman. Yeah, me neither, bro. This is crazy. Well, Camera Woman, where are you taking us? I'm taking you to my Camera Woman prison. What? A Camera Woman prison? Yep, and we're almost there. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. Hey, dude. I think we should try to escape out of here. Yeah, that's a good idea. We are not going to be in here for long. Well, uh, it seems like we're at the prison now. And you know what? I'm going to make a run for it. Yeah, me too. Hey, no, get back here. Uh, oh, wait a second. What the heck? Did you just chase him? No, speaker man, come over here if you don't want to get taken. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, camera woman. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is probably going to be harder than we think. Now, come on. Get up and walk back over there. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will never try to run away ever again, camera woman. Yeah, you better not. Now, let's go inside. All right, uh, let's just go inside then. All right, well, camera woman, what are we going to do first? Well, first, you got to get your mug shots taken. Are mug shots taken? Oh, my gosh. Hopefully, my mommy doesn't see this. Oh, trust me. Your mommy will see it. Bro, are you kidding me? All right, speaker man, say cheese. Oh, cheese. There you go. Now, TV man, it's your turn. Go sit down. All right, TV man, you're up, dude. Uh, okay. All right, TV man, say hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Aw, so cute. Your moms are going to love these photos. Yep, they sure will. Well, camera woman, what do we have lined up for today? Well, first, you guys got to go to your jail cell. Uh, all right. Well, what are we going to do after that? You guys are going to sit in there and rock. Wait, what? Are you serious? We aren't going to have lunch or anything? Well, later you'll have lunch, but you guys got to sit in there and think about what you did. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, speaker man, how are we supposed to get out of here? Dude, there must be like a secret exit out of here. Maybe like through ventilation system or something. Huh? yeah. That's a good idea. Well, let's start looking around for that. Let's see. Is there any thing at the roof and no there's not and there's nothing under the bed oh my gosh oh well maybe there's something in the toilet look here let me step on it real quick and oh my gosh i fell to the toilet my cheeks are right now oh speaker man that's literally disgusting well there's literally no way that we could get out of this jail cell so you know what i'm just gonna run to the door and hope something happens here wait now. what oh bro are you okay oh well it doesn't seem like i can break through that door it's pretty heavy yeah it sure seems like it well it doesn't seem like we're getting out of this jail cell anytime soon so we might as well just sit here forever dude come on TV man. We gotta keep on trying, bro. I really want to escape out of Camera Woman's prison super duper badly. Well then, Speaker Man, how about you find a way to get out of here because I have no more ideas. Alright, dude. Well, you know what she said? She said that we're gonna have lunch today. So maybe when it's lunchtime, we can literally distract her and then escape. Alright, yeah, that's a good idea, Speaker Man, but I guess we just have to sit here. Yeah, we can yell for her. Hey, Camera Woman, I'm starving up here. Can we have lunch? Oh, you guys are being such babies. You've only been there for like five minutes. Yeah, I know, but I'm super duper hungry. That's literally why we stole. Yeah, we literally stole from the store because we were super duper hungry, but wait a second. Speaker man, I still have pizza and Doritos. Hey, wait a second. Where would you get those? Oh, uh, what, 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 what happened? Boys, empty your pockets right now. Uh, all right, well, you kind of stole all my food. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that you just caught my food. Yeah, that's what I thought. Never try to smuggle food in here again. Yum, 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 yum. Wait, what? You're eating his Doritos? Oh my gosh. Hey, camera woman, what is lunch? Lunch is in one minute. One minute? I don't think I can wait one minute. Oh my gosh, I want to break down the door again. Bro, what the heck? Oh, wait a second. Uh, how did I just open that? Guys, it's time for lunch. Uh, dude, I'm pretty sure she just opened it. Well, uh, what do we have for lunch today, camera police officer? It's camera woman police officer to you. Oh, okay. Sorry, camera woman police officer. Well, we have this really yummy grub. Ew, what in the heck is that? Some toast, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, and green beans. Oh my gosh, this literally looks so disgusting. It's just Thanksgiving leftovers from a little while ago. Bruh, Thanksgiving was so long ago. Well, they're delicious, so eat them. Oh my gosh, all right. But of course, I'm not going to be eating that. I'm going to be eating my Doritos. Oh, well, I guess I'll just eat this. And, oh, uh, this is really good. Can I go get seconds? Uh, there should be a little more left. I guess you can. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, Speaker Man. Come on. All right, uh, Camera Woman. I'm going to go with him, too. All right, boys. Don't get into trouble. Yep, we won't. Oh, TV Man, too. Do you think there's a secret exit somewhere back here? Yeah, I think there might be. Let's look around for a vent, huh? Maybe there's something inside of here. Yeah, maybe there's one, well, huh? There's a whole lot of boxes right here. But there's no boxes on this one. Wait a second. Dude, look right there. There's a vent. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man, this is perfect. We can finally escape this prison. No way. This is so awesome. Are you ready, bro? Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Uh, boys, what is taking so long? It shouldn't take that long to get some food. Uh, oh, dude. I think she's on to us. Boys, where are 
you. Hey, you're not allowed to be back here. This is restricted area. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, sorry. We thought that the leftover food was in here. Uh, right, speak around? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, dude. Well, no prisoners are allowed back here. The leftover food is in the food right here. Oh, uh, silly us. Excuse me, man, dude. We're gonna have to come back to this later because I'm pretty sure this is how we can escape. Yeah, me too. Well, uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, let me just grab this extra food again and okay, this is gonna be delicious. Yep, it better be delicious and I'm gonna watch you eat it all. Wait a second. You're gonna watch me eat it all? Uh, well, actually, I'm not that hungry right now. I just wanna save this for later. Nope, nope. You gotta eat it all right now. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Well, I'm just gonna eat mine right now. And ugh, that is so gross. Well, boys, now that you ate so much food, we gotta go outside and burn off some calories. Oh, all right, perfect. I do not want to eat that food much longer. Yeah, me too, speaker man. Well, dude, let's go outside and uh, keep our woman. What are we gonna be doing out here? You guys are gonna be playing some fun basketball. Some basketball? All right, this is fun. Well, this is the best thing we've done all day. This is so much fun. Yeah, it really is. Well, here, let me grab the ball real quick and I'm gonna score more more hoops than you. All right, yeah, whatever you say. Look at me. I've literally not missed once. Bro, wait. I'm literally missing all mine. Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. Dude, this is not fun. Well, guys, I'll leave you to it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, camera woman. Now that she's gone, you think there may be a way to get out of the prison from the courtyard? Uh, I don't really know, speaker man. The walls are pretty high. Yeah, they sure are, dude. Now that I think about it, I don't think we have a chance at escaping over here. Well, let's see. Maybe we can look around and maybe there's something that we can grab. Wait a second. Look at this. I just got a wrench. Hold on. You found a wrench on the ground? No way. Maybe we could use that to open the vent. And after we open the vent, we can literally escape out of camera woman's prison. Oh my gosh, speaker man, that is a great idea. Well, how about we get going right now before camera woman sees us? All right, yeah, that's a good idea, dude. So come on, speaker man, we have to make a sprint for it. All right, yeah, let's go. Whoa, 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 where are you going, boys? It's time for your shower. Oh my gosh, dude, she literally caught us. Uh, camera woman, we were actually running to the shower because we already knew it was time for the shower. Yep, and you guys are so stinky. Get in there. Okay, I'm sorry, camera woman. Dude, she literally literally just caught us again. Oh my gosh. I think we should fake having a shower and then we're gonna have to sneak out of here. But I'm pretty sure she's literally guarding the door. You know what, Speaker Man? We might just have to make a run for it. That is probably our only chance to get out of here. Yeah, it sure is. Well, here, dude. Let me walk out the door real quick and let me check around the corner. And oh my gosh, dude. The coast is clear. Okay, Speaker Man, come on. We have to go. All right, yeah, let's go. Oh my gosh. So we have to walk into the kitchen in here. All right, let me try to do this right here. Let me get the screw over here. Come on, come on, please. Dude, come on, open it already. And yes, it's open. Quick, get inside. All right. Oh, my goodness. We're literally in the ventilation system. Yeah, we sure are. Well, uh, how are we supposed to get out of here? Dude, I have no idea. There are literally so many tiny vents in here. Well, how about we take this vent right here? Let's see if we can get out. All right. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, uh, dude. It literally has brought us to the storage room real right here. Let's go check around it real quick and see. Maybe there's a way to get out. And no, there's nothing back here. Maybe there's someone over here. Let's take a look. Yeah, let's go see. And wait a second. Dude, look at this. There's literally an elevator right here. But we don't even have a key card. Yeah, it's seems like we're literally locked out of this. Well, let me see. Maybe I could use my wrench to try to hack it. So let me just turn this just like this and oh my gosh. I opened it. Wait, did he really? No way, bro. Quick speaker, man. Let's go up a floor. All right, yeah, let's go up. And whoa, what is up here? It seems like we're in some type of security room. Yeah, it sure seems like that. Wait a second. Camera woman's right there. She's walking towards us. Oh my gosh, this is bad. Oh, boys, are you done your shower yet? Oh, uh, yeah, we're done our shower. Okay, well, where are you guys? I don't see you. Oh my gosh, speaker, man. Okay, let me try to open this door to the outside roof. Come on, dude, open it already. And yes, it's open. Oh my goodness, no way. Hey, what was that noise? Oh no, commencing lockdown. Oh my gosh, TV man. We gotta get out of here fast, but wait a second, she literally locked the gate. Oh no, this is not good. I think I accidentally just set off an alarm or something. Dude, this is not good. Wait a second. She is right behind us. Hey boys, what do you think you're doing? Camera woman, we're uh, getting out of here. Oh, get out of here fast. Come on, come on, open up, gate. And oh my gosh, the gate isn't opening up. Hey, I'm coming down there. Come on, dude. Oh. Open it with the wrench. All right, I'm trying, I'm trying, but it's not working. Uh, I'm going to body slam into it. And oh my gosh, it's just open. Run. Quick, get out of here. What? No, taser, taser them. Oh my gosh, I'm falling all the tasers. We got to go back home. Oh no, I got to get in my car. All right, class, today we're going to be doing mathematics. Oh, I love mathematics. And speaker man, since you love math so much, do you know the answer to this question? The answer to this question, well, one plus one, huh? I think one plus one equals window. Uh, no, that is very 
very incorrect. Ha oh, ha, you're so dumb. Hey, TV man, I'm not dumb. You're dumb. You didn't even get the answer correct. The answer is two. What? No, the answer isn't two. Well, actually, the answer is two. What? Are you serious? The answer is two? See, I told you you were incorrect. Ha oh, ha ha ha. I'm so much better than you at math. Are you serious? What? I'm not even that dumb. Oh, my gosh. Well, hey, teacher, give me another question. All right, what is nine plus ten? Nine plus ten, uh, let me think. I think the answer to this equation is 21. What? Yeah. You can't be serious, Speaker Man. That is the wrong answer. Uh, no, TV Man. It is not the wrong answer. Stop making fun of me. You are literally so dumb. The answer is 19, teacher. You are correct once again, TV Man. What? Are you kidding me? That is not the correct answer. Well, sadly it is. Don't worry, Speaker Man. You'll get the hang of it. Oh, my gosh. You're so mean. I'm going to cry. All right, go cry, little baby. <laughs> You're such a meanie. Oh, my gosh. I hate him so much. I'm just going to go cry in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm so upset. Oh, hello there, Titan Speaker Man. Uh, who are you? I'm Skibbity Toilet. Oh, yes, yeah, Skibbity Toilet. Well, what are you doing in this toilet? Well, I'm a toilet, so I have to be in the bathroom. What, what brings you in today? Well, honestly, Skibbity Toilet, I'm just super duper sad because TV Man keeps bullying me. What? Titan TV Man keeps bullying you? Yeah, he's such a big bully, and he keeps calling me dumb. Well, why is he calling you dumb? Well, because I literally got the math equation wrong two times in a row. But don't worry, I have a way that can make you not as dumb. Wait, what, do you really? Well, what is it? Well, since Titan TV Man is so smart, I could turn you into Titan TV Man. No way, can you really? Yep, I sure can. All right, well, how? Well, what I need you to do is go ahead and sit on this toilet right here. Oh, uh, okay, I'll sit on the toilet. And when I flush the toilet, you should go down with it, and then you'll come back on this Titan TV Man. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, Skippy Toilet. All right, here goes nothing. Whoa! Oh, I feel kind of weird, Skippy Toilet. Wait a second, I'm TV Man now. Yep, you sure are. Thanks a lot, Skippy Toilet. Oh my gosh, now I can cause so much havoc and get revenge on him. But let's see, is he still in school? Oh, I'm gonna go to the pool and swim all day. Oh my gosh, he's literally leaving right now. Okay, okay. Well, guys, say I'm literally gonna pretend to be and I'm gonna ruin his whole entire life. It's gonna be so funny. But, uh -huh, what should I do first? Let me think. Uh, maybe I should steal his car first. Oh my gosh, look, he has such a tiny car right here. And I can literally stop inside it. I'm gonna go drive to his house. And I'm gonna prank his whole entire family as him. And oh my gosh, this is their house right here. And it's so big. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go up these stairs and I'm gonna sneak inside of the house and hopefully none of his parents are home. And oh man, his dad is right there. Oh man, I'm so tired. My back hurts so bad. Okay, well, I'm just gonna try to sneak in here and oh my gosh, they somehow don't see me. Oh, hey, Titan TV man. Oh my gosh, they saw me. Oh, uh, hey guys. Yeah, I came home early today because uh, the school is out. Oh, school's out? Okay. Well, why does your voice sound way high pitched? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Oh, well, guys, they were having a party at school today and I, I drank helium. What? How do you drink helium? You're literally a TV. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm sick, Dad. Oh, you're sick? Okay. Well, hopefully you feel better. Well, me and your mom are just gonna relax on this couch. Oh, okay, Mom and Dad, have fun. And, oh my gosh, okay, where even is my room? Let's see. Where could his room be? No, this is his room right here. Well, maybe they have an upstairs area. Uh, hey, Mom and Dad, I'm just gonna head to my room. All right, have a fun time. Yep, I will And Okay, this is not my room. This is literally the bathroom. Come on, where is this? And what? Are you kidding me? Is this the only room here? Hey, um, guys, where's my room? Where's your room? What do you mean, where's your room? Oh, uh, sorry, Dad. I kind of forgot where it was. Oh, that's really weird. Well, uh, your room's right here. What? My room is right here? Yeah, we're TVs. You literally can sleep anywhere. What? Are you serious right now? I don't want to sleep on the ground, Dad. What? What do you mean? You've been sleeping here for three years. Oh, yeah. I guess I have. Silly me. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is so weird. Why does TV Man sleep on the ground outside? That's super duper weird. Well, Dad, honestly, uh, I'm kind of bored of being home right now, so I'm just going to drive around the neighborhood. All right. Have a fun time driving around. Do not crash. Oh, uh, okay, Dad. I won't trust me. Wait a second. That just gave me a good idea. What if I literally crash TV Man's car? I can literally destroy it. That would be hilarious. Okay. Well, I'm just going to drive around for a little bit, and then I'm going to crash it. This is going to be so funny, but honestly, first, I think I'm going to go stop at the grocery store, and maybe I can prank some people here. All right, so I'm just going to go inside of the grocery store now. Hey, guys. Oh, TV Man, welcome back. I guess it's your second time you've been here today. Oh, uh, hey, yeah, uh, yeah, that's my second time being here today. Oh, no. This is bad. TV Man was literally here today. Uh, why? 
Why do you sound so weird? Oh, uh, for no reason, Miss Lady. Oh, man. Hey, what's up, Tabor, man? I just saw you at the pole. What the heck? Who even is this guy? Oh, uh, hey there. Are you still coming back to my house letter tonight? Am I coming back to your house? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be there. Don't worry. All right. See you then. Bye, Miss Grocery Store Worker. Bye there, Jeremiah. And phew, that was a close one. So I guess I have two things to do. I'm going to crash his car. And then after I'm done crashing his car, I guess I'll just go to that guy's house. Well, here, let me see. Maybe I can steal some stuff. That would be so funny. Okay, well, what is there expensive to steal? Let's see. Wait a second. These water bottles literally cost like $15 a pop. Okay, well, I'm just going to grab some of this and uh, I'm just going to sneak out. Uh, hey, lady. Oh, hey there, Cuban man. You must be loving that water a lot. Uh, yeah, I love this water. Yeah, it's your second time getting it today. How weird. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird. Well, that would be $15. $15, all right. Oh my gosh, guys, I don't even have any money. Uh, well, girl, wait a second. Look behind you. There's a scary monster. Oh my gosh, a scary monster. Where? Oh, okay, okay. I gotta run. See ya. Hey, come back. Here. No, you can't get me. Oh my gosh. I literally just stole from the store and this water bottle was $15. It's so expensive. Well, now I think I'm just gonna go crash this car and after that I can go to that guy's house. I wonder what's happening there. But, uh, where should I even crash this car? Let me think. Wait a second. What if I crash it in the pool? Okay. Well, wait a second. I think TV Man's actually there and eh, whatever. I'm just gonna run it straight into the pool. Yes, sir. Wait, the pool is so much fun. Well, wait a second. What is my car doing inside of here? Oh my gosh. Okay, he's actually here. I gotta run. Wait, is this even my car? Wait a second. It has the same license plate. It's my car. How did my car fall into the water? Oh my gosh. He just knows that his car's in the water. What do I gotta do? Wait a second. Is that my twin brother? What? He's looking at me. Oh, uh, hey there. Brother, no way. Is that actually you? I didn't know I have a twin brother. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're brothers. Wow, this is so amazing. Do you live in this neighborhood? Do I live here? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I live in the neighborhood. Well, we should totally be friends because we are literally like the same exact species. Uh, yeah, sure. I guess we can be friends. All right, yeah, let's be friends. You want to come to my friend Jeremiah's house later today? Jeremiah's house? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. What's happening there? Oh, you know, we're just gonna have the best party ever. What? The best party ever? Oh, uh, okay, yeah, sure. I'm down. All right, come with me. Uh, okay, yeah. When is this party? Well, we're celebrating his birthday, of course. What is his birthday today? Uh, okay. So let me ring the doorbell, Jeremiah. Are you home? Oh, hello. You must be Jeremiah's friend. Yeah, uh, hello there, Jeremiah's mom. We're here for his birthday party. Oh, well, you boys come right inside. All right, thank you so much. You can go ahead and go to Jeremiah's room. He will be here soon. All right, thanks a lot, Jeremiah's mom. Okay, well, let's head off to his room. I think his room is upstairs, and this is probably his room right here. Well, Jeremiah's has a cool room. Yeah, he sure does. Well, while we're waiting for Jeremiah's, how about we play a game? A game? Uh, yeah, sure. I guess we can play a game. All right, let's play Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare? Okay, sure. Well, who's going first? You're going first, obviously. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess I can go first. Well, I dare you to take off your helmet. What? Uh, no, no, no. My head doesn't come off. Well, what do you mean your head doesn't come off? I thought it was like a costume or something. What? No, why would this be a costume? Well, because you look exactly like me. Are you sure your TV can't come off your head? Here, let me try to pull it off. No, 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 no. Do not try to- Guys, this party is so lit right now. Yeah, look at my dance moves. Oh, oh, oh. Well, TV man, those are awesome dance moves. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, yours are also pretty good, TV woman. Aw, thank you, guys. Well, we've been dancing for a while now, guys, so do you want to play a game? Oh, yeah, I would love to play a game. Oh, well, sorry, guys. I actually can't. I gotta go. Wait, what? Uh, TV woman, why are you leaving? Wait a second, TV woman, get back here. We're supposed to be partying for the whole entire day. Dude, she's already gone. What the heck? That was the weirdest thing ever. She literally just got up and left. Yeah, I know, dude. That was super duper weird. I wonder why she left. There's literally nothing that she has to do. Yeah, there sure is. And she literally told us earlier today that we were gonna party all night, bro. Yeah, bro. Well, do you just want to go inside and play some games by ourselves or like dance or something? No, bro. I don't think we should do that. Honestly, I think that we should go follow her and we should go spot on her and figure out all of her secrets because I think she's hiding something from us. Wait, really? You think she's hiding something from us? Yeah, bro. I really think she is. No person will just stop partying mid-party. Yeah, that is pretty true, Speaker Man. Well, we can't let her see us because we need to find out all of her secrets. So let's just go to her house and sneak around. Yeah, we sure can, bro. So you know what? I think we're gonna have to go to the disguise to get some disguises. And after that, we can figure out where she is and spy on her. All right, Speaker Man. That's a good idea. Let's go to the disguise store. Yeah, let's go, bro. And now we're at the store. And wait a second, uh, little Timmy. What are you doing here? Oh, hey, bro. Uh, I actually work at this job now. Wait, what? You got fired from the other job? Uh, no, 
why didn't get fired from the grocery store. I just work like 50 jobs now. Holy macaroni, dude. That's insane. Yeah, I know it is. But uh, welcome into the store, guys. What do you guys need today? Well, Timmy, we're looking for a disguise. Uh, all right. What kind of disguise do you guys need? Literally, like, any disguise, little Timmy. Uh, okay. Well, do you guys want to be in, like, a unicorn onesie or some girl clothes? Or maybe you could dress as a turtle. Uh, TV man, what do you think? Dude, I think we should do girl clothes or something like that. Because we'll probably blend in. What? Girl clothes? Really? Oh, my gosh. All right. Oh, well, Timmy, I think we need some girl clothes. All right, boy. That sounds good. Well, uh, go over there to the girl's clothes, Evan. You can try some on. All right. Thanks a lot, little Timmy. And little Timmy, uh, I'll take the unicorn onesie. You're just going to give me the girl's clothes? Dude, the unicorn onesie is a girl clothes. Oh, my gosh, bro. All right. Well, here. Let me put on some girl's clothes real fast. Yeah. What the heck am I wearing? What even is this? Well, speaker man, you're looking really fancy. Dude, I cannot believe that girls wear these clothes. This is so weird. Well, we have to find out TV Wilbin's secrets. So you just have to dress up like that, bro. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, let me just put my onesie on. And there we go. Now I'm a unicorn. Your outfit is better than mine. Well, little Timmy, I guess we're ready to purchase these outfits. Well, guys, it's actually my birthday on the job today. And it says I can give someone a discount if I really want to. So you know what? I'm going to give you guys a discount. Everything is free. No, wait, really? Well, Timmy, thanks a lot, bud. Yeah, no problem, bro. Well, All right, wish you guys the best of luck figuring out TV Woman's secret. Thanks a lot, bro. So, TV man, let's go head over to her house so we can start spotting on her. And hopefully we can figure out all of her secrets. Yeah, let's go. And, bro, now we're at her house. And wait a second. What is she doing right there? She's on the couch and wait. Do you see what she's drinking, bro? Bro, are you serious? She literally left the party to drink a Frappuccino at home watching a pig on a TV. Well, bro, let's just spawn her and see what she does next. Oh my gosh, this Frappuccino is so good and that piggy is so cute, but my stomach is really starting to hurt. Uh oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Wait a second, bro. Why did she just run upstairs? Oh no, I think she's going to the bathroom. <laughs> Uh, bro, did you just hear that? Yeah, I think she really had to go to the bathroom or something. But I wonder why. Yeah, me too, bro. Well, wait a second. She was drinking a Frappuccino. Oh my gosh, I think I'm lactose intolerant. Wait a second. What did she just say? She said she's lactose intolerant. What does that mean? Uh, dude, I'm pretty sure that means when you drink milk, you really have to go take a massive poop. What? Are you serious, speaker man? Yeah, bro, I'm actually totally serious. Well, why did she come home and decide to drink a Frappuccino just so she could go to the bathroom? Bro, honestly, I have no idea, but at least we figured out one secret that she has. But I'm still thinking that she has a lot more. Yeah, I think that too. So let's try to figure out all of Well, them. Speaker Man, we can't really see much from this window. So how about we sneak inside? Bro, what? You want to sneak inside of here? Yeah, I mean, she's in the bathroom right now. So let's go. Come on. We don't have much time. Yeah, bro. That's true. Wait a second. What? We can literally just walk inside of her door. Oh, man. Her door isn't even locked. Okay, bro. Here, let's just sneak into her bedroom real fast and perfect. Now we can spot on her even better. And hopefully we can figure out more secrets about her. Yeah, hopefully we can, bro. And hopefully she gets out of that bathroom soon. Yeah, hopefully she does. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad that thing is all over, but now we have to go meet up with a secret boy. Wait a second. Did you just hear it, bro? A secret boy? Are you serious? Okay, speaker man, that just really got me angry, bro. A secret boy? What is she gonna do with that secret boy? She better not be going on a date. Yeah, bro, but there's only one way to find out. We have to go follow her. <sighs> All right, bro. Well, I'll try not to get angry, but I might actually get really angry. Yeah, bro, I'm sorry. Well, here, let's sneak outside real fast and let's see if the coast is clearing, bro. Okay, it is. Well, we're gonna have to run out there and hopefully she hasn't left yet because we're gonna have to follow her car. So let's go outside and let's see. Wait a second, bro. She's driving away right now. All right, perfect. We need to follow her car. Yeah, we sure do. Look, she's going this way. Oh my gosh, I wonder where she's going. Yeah, me too. Hopefully, she's not going to Brooks Diner. I can't wait to go to Brooks Diner to go on this date. Wait a second. Did you just hear that? Oh my gosh, she's going on a date with somebody. Bro, I feel so bad for you. I'm sorry that she's cheating on you. And she's also going to Brooks Diner. Oh my gosh. But we still have to spy on her because we have to figure out more stuff that she's hiding from us. Yeah, bro, we have to figure out all of her secrets. So let's go to Brooks Diner. And bro, now we're at Brooks Diner, so let's go spy on her. Her. Speaker man, honestly, I don't want to spy on her for this one because I do not want to see her cheating on me. Bro, what? Are you kidding me? But you're literally my right hand man. Well, Speaker man, I don't want to see my girlfriend sitting with some random person. She's literally my girlfriend, bro. That's, That's really going to hurt my feelings. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess it will, bro. All right. Well, you can go somewhere else, but I'm still going to spy on her. All right, I'll just be waiting at the pool then. Come out whenever you're done. All right, bro. I'll let you know. Well, guys, now let's go over here and let's go see. Wait a second. Is that Skibbity Toilet? And wait, what? TV Woman? No way. TV Woman's cheating on TV Man. It's Skibbity Toilet. Oh, hey there, Skibbity Toilet. You're looking really nice today. Oh, you're looking really nice also, TV Woman. Well, I'm so happy that you decided to go on this date with me. We are going to have so much fun. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this is happening. Yeah, I can't wait to do that thing later today. Wait a second, what thing are they talking about? Oh, this is really, really suspicious. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait for it to happen. Well, Skibbity Toilet, now that we planned that thing for later today, I'm going to go back home. Wait a second, you don't want to eat any food? Uh, no, I'm going 
better go home and prepare for the thing that's happening later today. Uh, okay, TV woman. Well, uh, good luck. Wow, she is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, guys. I cannot believe that just happened. And she's going home right now. Oh my gosh, she's right there. If you, she passed me. Okay. As I was saying, I cannot believe that just happened. I really wonder where the thing is later today. Uh, hey, there's Skibbity Toilet. Uh, speaker Man, what are you doing? And why are you dressed as a girl? For no reason, okay? Oh, okay, Speaker Man. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, uh, wait, what the heck? Okay, guys, that was kind of weird. Why did he just laugh like that? All right, whatever. Well, I'm going to head over to the pool so I can tell TV Man about what just happened. And then we're going to go back to finding secrets about her. So, hey, TV Man, bro, I have an update for you. Oh, what happened, Speaker Man? Tell me, bro. So, dude, when I was following them, Skibbity Toilet and TV Woman said they're going to be doing something later today. What? It was Skibbity Toilet? And they're going to be doing something later today? Oh, my gosh, what could they be doing? That sounds so sus. Yeah, dude, it sure does sound sus. Well, I guess we're just going to have to wait to find out. But in the meantime, bro, let's go back to TV Woman's house so we can figure out more of her secrets. Yeah, that's a good idea, Speaker Man. Let's go. And bro, we're back in her house. Yeah, so let's just go up to this window and spy on her and see what she's talking about. The first thing I gotta do to prepare for the big thing today, I gotta go gun shopping. Wait a second. She has to go gun shopping? What big thing are they preparing for? Dude, I have no idea. But well, that is even more suspicious than wait a second, bro. She's leaving right now. Quick, hide in the trees. Okay, phew. I don't think she saw us. Yeah, me neither, bro. But wait a second. We gotta go follow her to the gun store. Yeah, quick. Let's follow her. And bro, look. She's walking inside right right now. Oh my gosh, this is so bad, dude. I really wonder why she's purchasing this gun. Yeah, me too. You know what, Speaker Man? I'm fed up with this. I'm going to go confront her. Whoa, wait. No, 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 bro. You cannot confront her. We still have to figure out all of her secrets and what the big thing is happening later today. Uh, okay, Speaker Man. Well, let's just see what she's doing up here. Alright, yeah, bro. Let's see. Hello, I would like one gun, please. Alrighty, what kind of gun do you want? Uh, I was thinking maybe a shotgun. Oh, uh, a shotgun? Are you serious? A shotgun? What the heck? What could she be using this for? I have no idea, bro. Alrighty, one shotgun. Shotgun, come right up. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Telecom Man. Oh my gosh, bro, she's coming down. Quick, hide. Hurry, get out of your speaker, man. Oh, no. <laughs> I cannot wait to use this bad boy. Bro, did you just hear that? She just said she cannot wait to use this bad boy. But oh, no, we have to watch out. She's going to see us. If you, I don't think she did, bro. But wait a second, bro. Where is she going? I have no idea, bro. Here, let's follow her. Oh, my gosh, she's literally running all over the place. And I think she's teaming up with Skibbity Toilet to do something really bad later, bro. Yeah, bro, I think that too. Oh, bro, her car's right here, so that must mean she's back here in this alleyway. Yeah. She probably is, but bro, we can't go back there because she's gonna see us. So let's just sit right here and see what she's talking about. Yeah, bro, good idea. Hello, are you the person I buy the tank from? Yep, I sure am. All right, perfect. I would like one of your strongest tanks that you have. Wait a second, bro. Do you hear her? Is she buying a tank right now? Why does she need a tank? This is really suspicious, dude. All right, it's gonna be one million dollars. Ooh, that is a little pricey, but luckily I have the money. Uh, what the heck? How does she have the money? I don't even know, dude. I think it's like skibbity toilets money or something. Yeah, it probably is, bro. All right, perfect. Well, here are the keys to the tank, and you can pick it up at the car dealer. Shit. All right, thank you so much. Hey, bro, she's coming around fast. Hide. Oh, my gosh, bro. How did she see us? And look, oh, my gosh. Okay, thankfully, she did not see us. Yeah, thankfully, she didn't. Well, bro, that was literally like five secrets we've already just found out. Yeah, bro, and they're all adding up to something. This is really suspicious. At first, she was drinking a frappuccino on a couch, and she was lactose intolerant. And then we figured out that she went on a date with Skibbity Toilet. And then she bought a gun, and now she bought a tank. Yeah, bro, they also said that something's gonna happen later today. And I'm assuming that it involves the guns and the tanks. Yeah, bro, me too. Well, let's just keep following her in a investigating. And then when the time comes, we're gonna have to stop her shenanigans. Yeah, we're gonna have to, bro. Let's go. And it seems like she's at the car dealership. Okay, quiet down. Alright, bro. Well, let's see. Wait a second. The tank is right there, and there she is. And perfect. I have the last piece to my puzzle. Time to initiate the plan. Wait a second. You just hear her, bro? She's initiating the plan. Here, hide. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that she's in the tank right now. Yeah, and where is she going? Oh, no. She said she's initiating the plan. Yeah, and wait a second, bro. She's going towards our houses. Oh my goodness, bro. This is bad. Yeah, dude, it sure is here. Let's go see her car real fast and let's follow her. Hopefully my house isn't gonna get harmed. Wait a second. We're stealing our car? Yes, bro. It doesn't matter. Let's go. Hey, bro, look. Wait a second. Why is she outside of my house? Oh, no, bro. And she literally just went inside. Dude, this is so weird. What is she doing inside of there? I don't even know, bro. And why do you have your door unlocked? She literally just walked inside. Bro, honestly, I don't even know. I swear I always lock it. Wait a second, bro. What if she's meeting up with Skibbity Toilet at my house? Oh, uh, bro, why would Skibbity Toilet be inside your house? That literally makes no sense. Oh, hey there, TV woman. Oh, hey, Skibbity Skibbity, it's so great to see you. Wait a second, bro. Bro, do you just hear that? I'm pretty sure Skibbity told us inside of my house. Bro, how did he even get inside of your house? Dude, I don't even know. I think he, like, broke the lock in my door or something. All right, well, 
quick, let's get inside and let's go spy on them. Yeah, bro, that's a good idea. Well, TV one, are you ready to initiate the plan of destroying Toilet City? Yep, I'm so ready. Let's do it. Dude, oh my gosh. TV man, we have to stop her right now. Yeah, bro, they said that they're going to destroy Toilet City. This has been her secret all along. Yeah, bro, this is literally her final secret. There are literally like seven secrets we found. Oh my gosh. Well, bro, you go inside the room and confront them. And I'll stand out the door to make sure they don't escape. All right, bro, yeah, you do that. So I'm just going to walk up in. Hey, guys. What are you doing inside my house? Oh, hey there, speaker man. We were just in your house to say one last goodbye to it because we were going to explode it with a tank. Huh? What? Are you kidding me? No, we're not kidding you. We have a tank outside of your house. Yeah, I saw. I cannot believe this is happening. You know what? I literally came here to stop you guys. Uh, speaker man, you don't have a gun or anything. How are you going to stop us? Well, it doesn't seem like that you guys have a tank anymore. Wait a second. Who just said that? Was that TV man? No way. I'm pretty sure TV man just stole your guys' tank. Oh my gosh, my precious tank. Ha <laughs> ha, see ya. Oh my gosh, no, our tank come back. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that that just happened. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, how did you know about our plan? Because we were spying on TV One all day to figure out all of her secrets. And we figured out that you guys were planning something. We also figured out that she was lactose intolerant. What? No one is supposed to know my biggest secret. Wait a second. Oh, life is so good. I could have sleep in every single day and do nothing all day. Speaker man, wake up. This is my fifth time trying to tell you to do your chores today. I'm getting fed up with you. What, mom? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. But I don't want to do my chores. See ya. Hey, get out of your bed, mister. I've honestly had it up to here with you. I'm thinking of kicking you out of our house. Wait, what? Kicking me out of your house? But mom, I didn't do anything. Yeah, that's the point. You never do anything. You're so lazy and poor. Oh, mom, you're so annoying. Well, I'm just going to sleep here. Bye. Okay, son, honestly, you're out. Go pack a bag and you can come home when you're rich. Wait, what, Mom? You're kicking me out of the house? That's what I just said. But, Mom, you're so annoying. I literally have zero dollars to my name right now. Well, can I take the supercar? No, you cannot take my supercar. Now take this bag and fill it with some stuff that you will need. Are you kidding me, Mom? This small bag? Well, let's see what I even have. Uh, okay, I literally got nothing. Well, can I put these pillows in there? No, those are my pillows. You can only put stuff that you own. Yeah, but I literally own nothing. Oh, my gosh. You're annoying, Mom. Well, I guess I'll just come back to you when I'm rich. See ya. Okay, bye. Oh, my mom is literally so annoying. I should not have been kicked out of the house for being poor. But now it seems like I have to get some jobs to get super duper rich. And after I get rich, I can go back home. So let's see. Uh -huh. What should my first job be? Bok, bok, bro. Kevin Gusher stores hiring. Wait a second. Oh, my gosh. This is perfect. Hey there, Mr. Chicken. Can I get a job here? Oh, hey there. You want a job at the grocery store? Yeah, I really do because I literally just got kicked out of my house and I'm poor right now. All right. Go ahead and go inside. Uh, okay, Mr. Chicken. And hey there. TV woman. Can I get a job here? Uh, I guess you can have a job here, but don't you have a lot of money? Why would you need a job? Well, I kind of got kicked out of my mama's house and I'm poor, so that's why I need a job. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, you can start your job right now if you would like. Oh, really? Thanks a lot, TV woman. Well, I guess I'll just be the cashier. Just don't steal any money. All right, I won't. Trust me. And I'm gonna go take a break. Bye. See ya. And guys, it seems like I'm a cashier now, so let's see how much money I make. And hopefully I become rich from this job and hopefully I don't mess anything up. Yeah. Good morning. Oh, look, he's our first customer. Uh, hey there, kid. Hello, I'm here to get my Doritos. Oh, good to hear. Well, just grab them and come up to the front desk so you can buy some Doritos. Oh, wait, psych, I'm taking them. Bye. Wait a second, kid. No, 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 you cannot steal. Hey, get back here, kid. Yummy Doritos. Oh, kid, get over here. Haha, <laughs> too late. I finished them. Wait, what? Are you serious? You just go and finish the Doritos? Yeah, I finished the whole bag. What? Can you pay at least because I'm literally going to get fired from my first job. No, I can't pay you. I actually don't have any money. Then why would he even come in the store? Oh my gosh, you're a weird kid. Bye-bye. What? Oh, man. Well, that's a great way to start off my job. I literally just got stolen from. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen again because I think if it happens one more time, I literally get fired from my job. Oh, hey there, kid. Uh, could you get me some groceries? Oh, uh, hey there, old man. Guys, it seems like there's another customer here. And, uh, yeah. Sure, I can get you some groceries. What would you like, mister? Yeah, I would like all your money. Give me all your money. Hey, yo, what? He has a gun. Hey, 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 now let me go to the cash register and take everything. No, old man, stop it. Uh, take this, old man. Oh, uh, that hurts. Yeah, that's what you get, old man. Never try to steal from the store ever again. Speaker, man, what'd you do? Oh, hey, TV woman. Well, look, I just saved the store from a robber. He's not a robber. He's an old man. Now get off of him. Wait, what? No, he is a robber. He literally stole so much money. Oh, my back. Uh, I'm gonna sue you, tight speaker man. Yeah, good luck 
luck with that. I have zero dollars to my name. Hey, 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 I stole all the money. Wow, TV woman. I literally had him down there. He stole all the cash money. I don't even care if he stole all the money. He's just an old man. You're fired. Wait, what? I'm fired for protecting the store? Are you serious right now? Yes, and do not come back. Well, am I going to get paid at least? Yeah, here's one dollar. What? One dollar? Are you serious right now? Oh, my God. This job sucked anyway. See ya. Oh, I literally just tried to save the store from a robber. And then I got fired because it was an old man that I just beat up. And honestly, it doesn't really seem like these jobs are working for me. So maybe I can start a business and get rich that way, huh? But what even would my business be? Let me think. Oh, Sparky, you're such a good boy. Wait a second. What if I made a dog walking business? Hey, dude, I have a question for you. Oh, uh, yeah. What is your question? Uh, how much would you pay someone to walk your dog? Well, I don't know. Maybe I could pay them like $100. Hey, what? $100? Oh, okay. Well, uh, can I maybe walk your dog sometime? Uh, yeah, sure. I actually need him to get walked right now. Wait, really? Uh, all right. I guess I can walk your dog. All right, perfect. Here's his leash. All right, thanks a lot. And by the way, what's your doggy's name? His name is Sparky. Oh, all right. And is there anything I should know about Sparky? No, not really. Just when you're done walking him, come back to my house. My house is right up there. Uh, okay. Thanks a lot. Yep, no problem. Have fun, Sparky. See ya, dude. And I cannot wait to get so rich and Sparky. You are the first dog I've ever walked ever. So hopefully nothing bad happens. But oh my gosh, I've been walking for a super long time. So I'm just gonna sit down here and Sparky hey, right here, boy. Do not move. And by the way, guys, after this, I think I should be worth $101. But to be considered rich, I think I'm gonna have to have $1,000. So I'm only one-tenth of the way there, but don't worry. I'll get there soon. Anyways, that was a good break, but now it's time for me to get back to work. Wait a second. Where did Sparky just go? Oh, no. This is not good at all. Sparky literally just ran away. Sparky, where are you? Hello? Oh, my gosh. I forgot dogs can't even talk. Where did Sparky just go? Oh, man. If I were a dog, where would I be? Let's sink. Well, here, let's check the pool because dogs like to swim for some reason. And no, he's not in the pool. Oh, my gosh. This is super, super bad. That guy's literally going to kill me. So, I'm going to have to find Sparky fast. And I'm going to have to search everywhere. Well, here's the police station. So, maybe I can file a report on the missing doggy. And, uh, hey, Mrs. Police Woman, I have an urgent report to file. Oh, hello. What is it? Well, I was walking a dog and he literally just ran away. So, can you help me find him? Uh, sorry, kid. I can only file a missing report. What? Are you serious? Well, please help me. It's super duper urgent. Because if I don't find him, I'll lose out on $100 and then I'm pretty sure the guy's gonna kill me. Well, there are hundreds of missing dogs around here, so it's gonna be pretty hard to find one little dog. But please, woman, please. Uh, here. How about I give you like $20 out of the $100 I get? Oh, wait a second. That's more than I get paid hourly. Sure. Wait, really? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Well, Mrs. Police Woman, do you have a car that we can ride in? Uh, yes, I do outside. Come on, follow me. Okay, thanks a lot, and hopefully we can find this missing dog. And now let's find your missing dog. All right, Mrs. Policewoman, and wait a second. That old man that was just right there, he literally robbed the store that I was working at for so much money. Okay, here, let me talk to him. All right, Mrs. Policewoman, and wait a second. Hey, old man, that's a dog. Oh, look who it is. It's Titan Speaker Man. What do you mean it's a dog? I know it's a dog. It's literally my dog. No, it's not. It was the dog that I was walking. Sir, you're under arrest for stealing the dog. What, what do you mean I'm under arrest? Hey, stop it. Yeah, this is what you get for stealing. Never steal ever again. Uh, you won't see the last of me. Yeah, whatever you say, old man. Well, thanks a lot, Mrs. Policewoman. I'm just gonna head back to that guy's house so I can return this dog. See ya. Okay, bye. Get home safely. And thankfully, I got Sparky back in. Wait a second. I think I owe that policewoman $20. Yeah, whatever. I don't think she'll realize. Well, let's just head back to that guy's house and hopefully he can pay me. And knock, knock, knock. Is anyone home? Oh, I wonder who could be at my door. Oh, hey there, Titan Speaker Man. Hey there, I'm back with your dog. Oh, uh, thank you so much for walking him. Was he a good boy? Yeah, he was. All right, good. And thank you so much for walking my dog once again. Yeah, no problem. I'll walk him anytime. So here's your $100, and I'm also going to give you a $1,000 tip. Hey, yo, what $1,000 tip? No way. Yes, wait. Don't worry. I'm super duper rich. You can see my mansion. Oh, yeah. This house is super duper big. Well, thanks a lot. Yep, no problem. Here you go. Well, thanks a lot, mister. You do not know how much this means to me. Well, now I'm going to go back to my house and see if I can live with my mom again since I'm rich now. And oh, I'm back home. Knock, 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 mom. Oh, my gosh, guys. Today is the moment that I'm going to ask Titan Speaker Woman now. Okay. I'm just gonna walk up to her and, uh, hey there, Titan Speaker Woman. Oh, hey there, Titan Speaker Man. Uh, hey there. I have a question for you. Uh, yeah, what's your question? Uh, could we maybe, like, be boyfriend and girlfriend? Why be boyfriend and girlfriend? No, I don't want to be your girlfriend. Wait, what? Are you serious? Ew, get away, Titan Speaker Man. What? Oh, my gosh. You guys are literally so mean and guys. I literally got rejected. This is so sad. Whoa, wait a second. Maybe I can still have a chance at getting Titan.
Titan Speaker Man to be my girlfriend. I literally came up with the best idea ever. What if I turn myself into TV Woman and I spend the whole entire day with Titan Speaker Woman? And at the very end of the day, I reveal that it's me and then she'll like me. Oh my gosh, this is the best idea I've ever had, guys. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go inside of the boys' bathroom and I'm gonna change into TV Woman and let's do this. And guys, look at me. I'm literally TV Woman right now. So I'm just gonna sneak out here and let's see where are they. And they're still right down here. Okay. Okay, Titan Speaker Woman, I'm gonna go home. Bye. All right, see you later. And oh my gosh, this is literally my chance. TV Woman just ran straight home. So I'm just gonna go downstairs and uh, hey there, Titan Speaker Woman. Oh, this Titan TV Woman, I thought you just went home. Oh, uh, no, I was just joking. I'm not going home. Oh, okay. Well, why does your voice sound so weird? Oh, honestly, I think I just got a cold. Oh, okay. Well, since you're not going home, do you want to go out for coffee? Go out for coffee? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I guess we can go out for coffee. All right, let's go get some coffee. All right, and guys, this is working so good so far. Hopefully, by the end of the day, she'll become my girlfriend. Oh, hello there. Uh, hey there, missus. Can we get some coffee? Of course. What would you like, dear? Well, what I would like is a vanilla bean frappuccino mixed with almond milk, nuts, strawberries, blueberries, pumpkin spice on the top with pumpkin spice. Spice foam and a little chocolate and caramel drizzle to top it off. What are you serious? You're literally getting that much? Uh, yeah, me and you always get the same thing. Do you not remember that? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I remember, but this time I think oh, I just want like a vanilla coffee, please. What TV woman? You hate vanilla. Oh, uh, yeah, but my stomach really hurts today, so I think I'll just take a vanilla. But it's gonna make your stomach hurt even more. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go sit down. Uh, all right, speaker woman. And your coffees will be right out for you guys. All right, thanks a lot, Mrs. Barista. And so, speaker woman, tell me a little bit. About yourself. Uh, what do you mean, Titan TV woman? You literally have known me for years. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, silly me. Why are you acting so weird today? This is kind of suspicious. Oh, uh, honestly, I think it's just my stomach. And can you excuse me for a moment? I'll be right back. Um, okay. Guys, this is not going too well. She's already getting suspicious of me. Oh, no. Well, hopefully things don't go bad and uh-oh. The barista's already there. Okay, I gotta go back inside. And sorry, speaker woman. I just had to, like, do something out there. And here's your vanilla drink. Thanks a lot, Mrs. Barista. So, Titan TV woman, how was your day at school today? Uh, my day at school was fabulous. How about yours? My day was good also. Thank you so much for asking. Yeah, no problem. Well, Speaker Woman, do you have any crushes? Do I have any crushes? Um, no, not really. Wait, what? Uh, you don't have any crushes? Not even on that Speaker Man? What? Speaker Man? Are you serious? You were literally right next to me when he approached me. I do not like Speaker Man one bit. What are you serious? Well, uh, he's super duper nice and handsome and stuff. Yeah, I don't really know about that one. Huh? Are you serious? He's not handsome? Oh my gosh. Wait, why are you speaking about him so much? Do you like him or something? No, no, no. I, I don't like him at all. I think he would be the perfect match for you. Uh, okay, whatever you say, Titan TV woman. Well, I finished my drink, so do you want to go back to your house? Uh, yeah, sure, I guess we can go back to my house. Alright, perfect, and we can do our makeup, and we can do our nails, and it's gonna be so fun. Uh, Alright, yeah, sure. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna pull this off? TV woman's literally at her house, and speaker woman's literally gonna know that it's me. And wait a second. She's walking out right now. This is perfect. We can just go straight inside. Alright, and now we're at your house. Yep, we sure are. So let's just go inside, and perfect. Well, what do you want to do now, speaker woman? Well, Let's do each other's makeup. Each other's makeup? Uh, nah, I don't want to do each other's makeup. How about we do, like, video games or something? What? Are you serious? Video games? You don't even have any video games, and you love doing makeup. Uh, yeah, but today I feel like doing video games, so let's go on the TV and, uh-oh. It seems like the only video game I have is Black Screen for 24 hours. Yeah, that game is really boring, so let's just do each other's makeup. Come on. Oh, my gosh. All right, yeah, I guess we can. So go ahead and sit on the bed. All right, speaker woman. So let me go ahead and start out with your blush, and let me just go ahead and blend that in. And, oh, my gosh, you're looking so pretty already. And once and for all, let me put your lipstick on. Oh my gosh, you are so pretty. Alright, let me see how this looks and oh, okay, yeah, it looks super fabulous right now. Okay, now it's time for you to do my makeup. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, yeah, here, just give me one second. Oh no, guys, I've never done makeup in my life. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Well, here, let me just grab my makeup supplies and now I can go inside and uh, hey, I'm back. Sorry about that. Oh, okay, I'm ready for you to do my makeup now. Alright, so here, let me just rub this all over your face real fast and now I can just put some of this on your face as well. Oh, oh my gosh, you're getting it everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry about that. And here, let me just like blend it all in. And uh, there you go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see this here. Let me go to a mirror. Uh, okay, guys. Uh oh, this is super duper bad. She's literally looking like an old man right now. Oh my gosh, why do I look like this? Uh oh, this is bad. I think she has realized. You were never this bad at makeup, Titan TV woman. What even happened to you? Uh oh, I'm sorry. I just didn't practice today. Oh my gosh, okay. I have to wipe this off right now. Oh, I had for you. That was literally the worst makeup I've ever had in my life. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Accidents happen. Well, what do you want to do now, speaker woman? Well, since we just did each other's makeup, how about we go get our hair done? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Because I really need some new hair. I'm balding. And after that, we can play truth or dare. Wait a second. You said truth or dare? 
<laughs> yeah, I said truth or dare. It would be so much fun. We do it all the time now. Come on, Titan TV woman. Uh, okay, guys. This is super duper bad. Hopefully, she doesn't make me do a super bad truth or dare. Because it can literally blow my whole entire comfort. I will never get her to be my girlfriend. And we're here. Hey, Leah. Long time no see. I really need a new hairdo. Yeah, I can tell you're balding a bit. And you brought your friend. Oh, uh, yeah. Hi, I'm TV woman. Oh, my gosh. I love your makeup. Oh, uh, thanks a lot. Well, do you also want your hair done? Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. I'll get my hair done. Okay, well, speaker woman, come and sit down first. All right, queen, slay. Okay, what are we looking to do today? Well, Leah, you just do your magic because I know you're really good at doing hair. Yeah, I am. You know it. And there you go. You look so gorgeous. Well, Titan TV woman, now it's time to see your hair. My hair? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, girl. Come on, sit down in my chair. What do you want to do today? Oh, uh, can you just give me a buzz cut? Um, Titan TV woman, why are you getting a buzz cut? Oh, uh, because I want one? No, 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 Leah. Make her hair look luscious and beautiful. She needs to slay. She is not allowed to have a buzz cut. Yeah, I agree. What? No. But there, your hair looks gorgeous. Oh, uh, guys, do you see this hair on me? This is literally why I wanted a buzz cut. I look like a girl. A uh, TV woman, you are a girl. Yeah, silly. Why are you acting so weird today? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I am a girl after all. All righty. Well, thank you so much, Leo. We're going to go play Truth or Dare now. All right. Have fun, guys. Uh oh, guys. That was a close one. I always just blew my cover, but uh oh. We're going to have to play Truth or Dare now. Now, oh my gosh. Hopefully nothing bad happens. All right, Titan TV woman, go ahead and sit down. I'm so excited to play Truth or Dare. I love playing it with you. Uh, yeah, same. All right, so Truth or Dare? Uh, Dare. All right, I dare you to stand on the table and dance. What? Are you serious? Uh, okay, yeah, I can do that. Oh, yeah, look at me go. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Okay, okay, well, now it's my turn. All right, Truth or Dare? Um, all right, I'll do Truth. Uh, all right, do you have any crushes? What? You already asked me that today, Titan TV woman, and I said I don't have a crush. Oh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Well, now it's my turn. All right, Titan TV woman, truth or dare? Oh, uh, how about a dare again? All right, Titan TV woman, this is a pretty easy dare, but I dare you to take off your helmet. Wait, what? Uh, take off my helmet? No, 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 my helmet is stuck to my head. What? Are you serious? It's not stuck to your head. I've literally seen your face so many times. Now take it off. No, 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 I cannot take it off. Titan TV woman, we're literally playing truth or dare. You have to do it. No, I cannot do it, please. Uh, all right, Titan TV woman, well, you know what? You left me with no choice. I'm taking it off. What? No. And there we we go. Wait a second, speaker man. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, boys, I'm so bored. I've been watching TV for hours and there's literally no good channels on. It's literally just these two bunny rabbits kissing. Oh, man. Well, uh, what can I do to cure my boredom? Hmm, maybe I can make some food or something. So, yeah, you know what? I was gonna go make some food over here. And guys, by the way, I ordered a package last night, so hopefully it arrives sometime soon. And maybe once that package arrives, it's gonna cure my boredom fully. Well, here, let me grab a banana real fast and, hmm, yo, this is delicious. And honestly, I have no idea how to Knock, knock, knock. Wait a second, guys. Who is that? Your package is here. No way. My package is here? Holy mackerel. I think the mailman came with my package. Uh, hey there, Mr. Mailman. Oh, hello there, speaker man. How is your day going? Uh, my day is super good, but it's even better since my package is here. All right, perfect. Well, uh, here is your package. Oh my gosh. Thanks a lot, Mr. Mailman. I really appreciate it. Yep, no problem, speaker man. Well, have a fun time with your package. I wonder what you bought. All right, thanks a a lot, Mr. Mailman. And guys, look, I literally got my package. And I'm gonna open it in one second. So here, let me go on the couch again. And inside this package is the craziest thing ever. So let me open it up real fast. And look at this, boys. This is a lie detector. Yes. Wait, what? It just said yes? Wait. No way, it's actually working. Here, I'm gonna try a question real fast. Uh, Mr. Lie Detector, am I cool? No. Bro, wait. I'm literally the coolest ever. Oh, uh, well, let me try again. Maybe it's malfunctioning. Uh, huh, Mr. Lie Detector, do I have friends? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's correct. Well, I guess it's not malfunctioning. Well, Mr. Lie Detector, can I test you out on other people? Yes. No way, guys. The Lie Detector also works on other people. So, you know what? That just gave me a genius idea. What if I went up to all my friends and I asked them a question? That is such a great idea. Well, you know what? I'm gonna head to the grocery store because I think that little Timmy kid is there. And I really wonder if he's gonna lie to me. So, let's go. And guys, now I'm at the grocery store now. Hey there, little Timmy. Oh, hello there. What way do you in today, speaker man? Oh, uh, nothing much. I just want to ask you a few questions. What? You want to ask me questions? Oh, uh, okay. Well, what question do you want to ask me? This is a super duper easy question. Do you have Doritos in the store? Ah, uh, yes, we have Doritos. Do you want Doritos? Yes. Oh my gosh, guys, it works in all. Uh, yeah, Timmy, sure. Oh, wait, well, here's him Doritos. Okay, thanks a lot. Well, Timmy, I have a few more questions to ask you, all right? Oh, uh, okay, you can ask me anything. Well, uh, do you enjoy working at this job? What? Yes, I love working at this job. This is the best job ever. No. Oh, uh, wait a second. Who 
just said no. Is there a ghost inside of here? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is hilarious. You know what? I'm going to ask Lil Timmy the funniest question ever. Uh, hey, Lil Timmy, I have another question. This is the final question, all right? Uh, okay, what is the final question? Uh, did you poop yourself this morning? What? No, why would I ever poop myself? That's a disgusting Titan speaker, man. Yes. Oh, my gosh. You pooped yourself this morning, Timmy. Why, who just said that was a lie? Hey, uh, I think there was a ghost inside here that said I lied. I did not poop myself this morning. No. Hey, who just said no? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is a lot of tech. You're so hilarious. Well, Lil Timmy, thanks a lot. Oh, speaker, man. I'm so sad. Yeah, sorry about that. Well, I'm going to go now. See ya, Timmy. Wait a second. You did a bio Doritos. Oh, guys, I know that the lie detector works on other people 100% now. So I'm going to head over to my friend's house, and I'm going to test it on him. And now I'm at TV Man's house, and now hello there, TV Man. Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. What brings you here? Oh, uh, nothing much. I just want to play a game with you. You want to play a game with me? Oh, okay. Well, what game do you want to play? Do you want to play Super Lario or Fork Knife? Oh, uh, no, nah, I don't want to play those games. I just want to ask you a few questions. What? You want to ask me a few questions? Oh, uh, okay. Well, uh, ask me the questions then. All right, TV Man. Well, for the first question, I wanted to ask, do you really like TV Woman? What? Do I like TV Woman? Yes, of course. She's my girlfriend. No, that is false. What the heck? That is false? No way. Oh, uh, Speaker Man, what did I just hear? Was that you talking? Oh, uh, no, no, no. That was not me talking. I think you're hearing something. Oh, uh, okay. Well, uh, what's the next question then? Oh, uh, well, did you eat breakfast this morning? Did I eat breakfast this morning? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Who doesn't eat breakfast? True. Oh, my gosh, guys. Okay, so this thing's not lying. He does not like TV Woman. That is kind of suspicious. I really wonder who he likes. Oh, uh, Speaker Man, why do you keep talking to yourself? Oh, uh, for no reason, buddy. All right, this is getting really suspicious. Well, uh, ask me some more questions, bro. Uh, all right, TV Man. Well, since you don't like TV Woman, do you like Camera Woman? No, I don't like Camera Woman. True. Wait, what? You don't like Camera Woman? Yeah, I don't like Camera Woman. Why would I like Camera Woman? Uh, I don't really know. Well, dude, I have another question for you. Oh, my gosh. How many questions are there going to be? Okay, well, what's the question? Well, this one's pretty personal. Uh, do you like Speaker Woman? What? Do I like Speaker Woman? Why would I like Speaker Woman? She's literally your girlfriend. No, that is false. Wait, what? Why, bro? Wait a second. Who just said that? Uh, Speaker Man, this is getting really suspicious. I think there's a ghost inside of the house. Uh, yeah, me too. Here, I'm gonna step outside for a second. No way. This is so bad. Why is the lie detector saying my best friend likes my girlfriend? Oh my gosh, guys. I cannot believe it. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna confront my friend. Oh, wait a second. Who's calling me? Uh, hello. Who is this? Oh, hey there, TV man. I just wanted to ask if we're going on our date today. If we're going on our date today, uh, yeah, of course we're going on the date. All right, perfect. I'll see you there. All right, Speaker Woman. Uh, I'll see See you there. Bye-bye. Uh, TV Man, who was that? Uh, that was just TV Woman. We were just talking about going on a date later today. Really? That was TV Woman? No, it wasn't. False. Uh, hey, who's talking? Oh my gosh, something keeps saying true and false. Like, what even is making that noise? Wait a second, Speaker Man. What is that in your hand? Is that a lie detector? Yeah, it is a lie detector, bro. And I just caught you red-handed. Why was my girlfriend calling you on a phone, and why are you going on a date with her? Your girlfriend wasn't calling me, dude. I'm telling you, it was TV Woman. Hey, get that stupid thing out of your hands. It's lying. Bro, the lie detector does not lie. Oh, well, it seems like it's like malfunctioning or something like that, dude. Because I am not going on a date with your girlfriend. Trust oh, me. Oh, well, since you want to keep lying to me, I'm going to go confront Speaker Woman by myself. What? You're going to confront Speaker Woman? Oh, uh, okay. Well, have fun with that, dude. But I don't know why you're using that lie detector behind my back, dude. Now get out of my house. All right, dude. And holy macro, guys. TV Man is so dumb. He was literally in my hand the whole time. And I cannot believe that he was going to go on a date with my girlfriend today. So you know what? I'm going to head over to her house and I'm going to confront her with a lie detector test. And guys, I'm in Speaker Woman's house. So here, let me just walk inside real fast. Wait a second. What is she doing? Is she putting on makeup right now? What? She's fully dressed up. Huh? She was literally about to go on a date with my best friend. I cannot believe it. Well, you know what? I'm going to break inside of the house and now. Hello there, Speaker Woman. Oh, well, Speaker Man, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Oh, what are you doing all dressed up? Oh, I was just going to go hang out with some friends. Yeah. False. Uh, what was that noise? Oh, uh, it was nothing. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe it just said false. Uh, Speaker Man, why are you speaking to yourself? Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. I was speaking to your fridge. Uh, okay, that's a little weird. Well, I'm gonna go and hang out with my friends. Yep, bye! Hold on, Speaker Woman, can I join you? Uh, no, it's just girl time. No boys allowed. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that that just said false. You know what, guys? I'm gonna spy on my girlfriend because this is getting way out of hand. Uh, I'm gonna have so much fun tonight. Uh, and guys, why is she going in a Brooke Haven time? I honestly think that she's actually gonna go on a date with my best friend. This is so outrageous, so you know what? I'm just gonna stay right here. And once my friend
Ren comes, I'm going to spawn them for a little bit more. And then I'm going to do the lie detector test with them. And if this lie detector says that they're actually going on a date, then I'm going to break up with her. And wait a second, look. TV Man is coming right now. Oh, man, this date is going to be so amazing. Wait, did he just say this date? Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe that this is an actual date. Oh, hey there, Speaker Woman. Hey there, TV Man. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm so excited to be on this date with you. Yeah, me too, Speaker Woman. But there's kind of a problem. Speaker Man came to my house and he was getting really suspicious of us. Yeah, he came by my house too. Wait, really? Are you serious? Okay, that's really suspicious. Well, uh, hopefully he doesn't find that we're here because we are going to have such a fun time on this date. I know. I'm so excited and so hungry. Let's order some food. Well, it seems like there's a steak and some hot dogs right here, so I guess we should just take them. Ooh, I really want a steak. And Speaker Woman, come sit down right over here and we can start our day. So, how was your day today? My day was great. Thank you for asking. Ugh, gosh, I cannot believe that they're on a date right now. And soon I'm going to confront them. Well, Speaker Roman, how do you think Speaker Man's going to feel whenever he figures this out? Oh, he's not going to care. Yeah, obviously I'm going to care. Yeah, well, he was pretty frustrated when he came to my house because he had some sort of like lie detector thing and it was like telling him if I was true or false. What? Well, I was hearing some noises when he was asking me some questions. So that might have been the lie detector. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is not good. He came to your house with the lie detector and my house. He definitely knows we're on this date right now. Okay, this is not good. Well, uh, do you want to hop in my car and maybe we could get out of here? Yeah, let's go quick. Wait, what? They're going in his car? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to follow them. Where are they even going? Well, Speaker Woman, let's go back to my place. Okay, sounds fun. What? They're going back to his house? No way! Well, I'm gonna go there, and once they're there, I'm gonna confront them. Well, Speaker Woman, let's watch some TV. Okay, what movie do you wanna watch? Well, we could watch some Survivor. I love Survivor. Oh yeah, me too. Let me go get some popcorn. Oh my gosh, guys, they're literally continuing the day at his house. I'm literally about to bust out this door and confront them. And here's your popcorn, baby. Alright, thank you so much, Speaker Woman. What did she just call him, baby? Ugh, what the heck? Ugh, I'm so frustrated. Well, Speaker Woman, this day has been going super good so far. Yeah, it sure has. I love spending time with you. Yeah, me too. Do you want to kiss? Yes, I love to. What? They're gonna kiss? Ugh. Guys, what are you doing here? Are you on a date? Uh, no, we're not on a date. We're just hanging out. Yeah, uh, we're just hanging out, Speaker Man. Nothing's going on here. Guys, this whole dark time I was spying on you guys. Where's my lie detector? I heard you guys were about to kiss. Oh, uh, Speaker Man, you need to get rid of that stupid lie detector. It is literally broken or something. We were just hanging out. Yeah, totally. You guys were literally about to kiss before I bust down this door. Speaker Man, baby, I'm sorry. I love you so much. Yeah, yeah, you love me so much. And why are you even crying? You're the one that's cheating on me. Because I'm sorry. Okay, now please let me love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, the lie detector is not lying. And TV Man, why did you do this, bro? You literally stole my girlfriend from me. Well, I didn't mean to, okay? She just wanted to be my girlfriend. What? Are you serious? Ugh, speaker Woman, why did you want to be his boyfriend? Well, because you never want to hang out with me. Bro, I always want to hang out with you. You always just decline me, though. Like, I literally called your phone 55 times yesterday. You declined all the calls. Chill. Uh, you know what? I'm leaving. Yeah, all right. Whatever, Speaker Woman. You know what, TV Man? I'm gonna go get TV Woman to be my girlfriend. See ya. Wait, what? TV Woman to be your girlfriend? Hey, she doesn't know about this. And give me my car back. Where are you going? I'm going to her house right now. Oh, come on. Where is everyone? My party literally started 30 minutes ago and no one has even arrived yet. Oh, my gosh. Well, here, let me call the guests real fast and hopefully they're coming soon. Uh, hello, Camera Woman. Are you there? Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. What's up? What's up is that? Why didn't he show up to my party? Oh, because, uh, I'm busy. What? You're busy, really? It's literally a Saturday. Nothing even happens on Saturdays. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm sorry. See ya. What? She's hung up on me, huh? Well, here, let me try to call TV Woman. Uh, hello, TV Woman. Oh, hey, Speaker Man. What's up? What's up? Why didn't you show up to my party either? Shh, TV Woman, hang up on him. Oh, sorry, Speaker Man. I gotta go. Wait, what? Who was that in the background? Oh, wait a second, guys. Hello? Oh, I am so upset right now. They literally both just hung up on me. And I'm pretty sure I heard Camera Woman and TV Woman's background. That is super duper suspicious. Uh, maybe they're doing something without me. So, you know what? I'm gonna put my investigator hat on and I'm gonna figure out what they're doing. So, let me hop my beautiful car and I'm gonna head to both their houses and hopefully they're at one of those. And here's the first house and this is TV Woman's house. So, hello, TV Woman. Are you home? Wait a second. Her door is literally open. Okay, that's kind of weird. Well, I'm just gonna sneak inside and let's see. There's no TV Woman right over here. Well, you know what, guys? I'm literally gonna check every single room and hopefully she's in her house and no, they're not in that bedroom right there. Well, hop out of the garage and no, she's not even there either. Are you serious? Well, here, let me check upstairs and no, there's no one in the bathroom, guys. Honestly, I don't even think they're at this house. So maybe they're at Camera Woman's house and yeah, there's literally no one here. Well, I'm gonna head over to Camera Woman's house. Wait a second. What is she doing outside? Hey, 
camera woman, what are you doing? Skibbity girls only party. Wait a second, speaker man. What are you doing here? You're not a skibbity girl. Wait, are you serious? You hosted your own party? Yeah, we're having a skibbity girls only party. Oh, uh, well, you better let me in the party. No, speaker man, you're not allowed in the party. This is for skibbity girls only. Now, you could go have fun at your party. What yeah. about you and TV woman? We're literally the only people I invited. And now you guys are hosting your own party, so I want to go in. Well, too bad. You're not allowed to. What? No, no, no. Let me in. Oh, my gosh. You guys are so annoying. You know what? I think what I'm going to do is try to sneak into their party. All right, that's a good idea. Well, first, I can now sneak in their party looking like me. So I'm going to have to go to the clothing shop, and I'm going to have to buy some new clothes. And maybe after that, I can sneak into their party. And I wonder what they're doing inside of there. And now I'm at the clothing store, so let's see. Hey, mister, I would like to buy some clothes, please. All right, the boys' clothes is over there. No, no, no. I'm not looking for boy clothes. I'm looking for girl clothes. What? Why are you looking for girl clothes? Well, uh, for some secret reasons. Okay, that's very sus. Well, uh, you can go ahead and go to the girls' clothes section, I guess. All right, thanks a lot, mister. Well, guys, now I can try on all these girl clothes. And hopefully, I find a good outfit that can get me inside of the party. So, let me put on the shirt real fast and some of these pants. And here is my first outfit. And, whoa, this is actually super duper pink. And, honestly, I think this could get me inside. So, hey, mister, I would like to buy this girl's outfit, please. Uh, okay. It's gonna be very expensive. Huh? Very expensive? Yeah, because girl clothing is really expensive. Well, uh, it seems like it's gonna be $152. What? $152? Oh, man, that's literally like, all the money I get paid per month. Well, here. You can have the money, and I'm gonna sneak into this party now. See ya. Wait, you're gonna sneak into a party? Okay, that's really weird. Yep, see ya around. Then, guys, now that I'm dressed up as a girl, hopefully I can sneak into the party. And now I'm back into the party, so let me see ya. Hey, guys, can I come inside of the party? Oh, my goodness, I think a skibbity girl is here. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, guys. Oh, my gosh, it's Speaker Woman. Come in, Speaker Woman. Oh, really? I can come in? Oh, thanks a lot. Oh, guys. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe I just snuck inside of the party. Welcome to the party, speaker woman. Go ahead and grab yourself some pizza, a hamburger, or a hot dog, and you can also get a frappuccino or a cookie. Oh, yeah, frappuccinos. I love frappuccinos. And, oh, uh, this is so delicious. Thanks a lot, ladies. No problem, girl. Well, we're gonna do the game soon, but first, we gotta give you a hair makeover. What? A hair makeover? Are you serious? Yeah, and we also have to do your makeup. Oh, man. All right, guys. Well, follow us right over here to the pink tent. Uh, uh, okay. One second, guys. Oh, no, guys. This is not what I was expecting. They're literally gonna do makeup and change my hair. Hey, who are you talking to? Oh, uh, my, myself. Oh, uh, uh, okay. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I know. Well, sorry, girls. Uh, I'm coming back over. Okay, speaker woman. Sit down. Oh, uh, all right, girl. And now we can start our makeover. Yeah, we're gonna make you look fabulous. Oh, yeah. I cannot wait to see. And you are complete. Look at your beautiful hair. And your beautiful makeup. Oh, uh, yeah, guys. This looks so awesome. Yeah, do you like your rainbow hair. Oh, yeah, my rainbow hair is so beautiful. Yay, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, it totally slays, queen. Oh, uh, yeah, it does. Well, guys, can we start the games now? Yes, we can start the game. Oh, really? Yes, I cannot wait. Well, TV woman, what do you want the first game to be? Well, for the first game, we're gonna play Would You Rather This or That, and whatever you choose, you gotta do it. Well, you gotta do it? Are you serious? Yep, and after this game, we're gonna play Truth or Dare. Oh, man, I love Truth or Dare. All right, girls, well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Oh, uh, yeah, let's get started, guys. Speaker woman, do you want to ask one of us first? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Oh, TV woman, would you rather drive a car or fly an airplane? Huh, I think I would rather drive a car. What? Drive a car? Yeah, but I don't even have my license. Oh, well, whose car are you even going to drive? Well, how about I drive your car, speaker woman? What? My car? Really? Oh, my gosh, that's such a good idea. Uh, no, guys, it is not a good idea at all. Well, I'm already in the driver's seat, so hop in at your own risk. What? Are you serious? Come on, hop in the car. Oh, my gosh, guys. Okay, let's go. Then, oh, my gosh, you are so bad at driving. Are you serious right now? I don't have my license, speaker woman. You know that. Stop swerving my car everywhere. Right. You literally just crash it like five times in a row. Don't worry. The dents come out, right? No, what? The dents don't come out. And every time you crash the car, I have to pay like $10,000. Hey, stop it. Oh my gosh, queen. You're slaying. No, she's not slaying. She's crashing my beautiful car. Wait, what? Why did you just crash into speaker man's house? Oops, I didn't mean to. What? You didn't mean to? Look at my car. It's literally all on fire. The wheels are off it. Uh, well, maybe Maybe Speaker Man can help us. Speaker Man, are you home? No, Speaker Man is not home. Oh, uh, that's kind of weird. Let's go back to our house. Whoever's going to ignore my car? Oh, my gosh. You girls are so weird. And we're back home. That was so much fun. No, guys, that was not so much fun. Yeah, that was actually so much fun. Bro, my car literally got broken. Well, your car wasn't very pretty anyway. Yeah, it wasn't. Well, let's play Truth or Dare now. Are you serious? You guys didn't even go yet. Yeah, well, that game was kind of boring. Well, one of you guys have to go first for Truth or Dare. I think TV Woman should. No, I want you to go. No, TV TV woman, I want you to go. But camera woman, I 
really don't want to go. Well, I'm not going, TV woman. Now you have to go right now. Oh, you really want to go? Whoa, 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 guys. Calm down. Yeah, I really want to go. Let's fight. No, no, no. Guys, stop it right now. Girls, do not fight. Stop it, guys. No, we aren't stopping because none of us are both going first. Oh, my gosh, guys. Well, you know what? I'll go first. Huh, all right, speaker woman. Well, speaker woman, truth or dare? Huh, how about I do a dare, guys? I dare you to dress up as a chicken and walk around town. Oh, my gosh. That would be so funny. What, guys? That would not be funny at all. I want to look ridiculous in a chicken suit. Yeah, that's the point, silly. Now, come upstairs because we have a chicken suit ready for you. What? You have one ready for me? Oh, man. Yep, we bought it just for this party, but we didn't expect you to come. And I think I was actually going to wear it later, but it seems like you're going to wear it now. Bro, are you serious right now? Well, here you go. Put it on. Uh, all right, girls. And there you go. You're slaying. Guys, look at me. I'm literally a huge chicken. Speaker woman, that's the point. Now, come on. Let's go. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is going to be so funny, but you are totally going to slay. Oh, my gosh, guys. I cannot believe this is happening. Well, um, where is Speaker Woman's car? Uh, remember, Camera Woman, I crashed into Speaker Man's house. Oh, my gosh. I totally forgot that was such a slay. Well, it seems like we're just going to have to walk. Yeah, guys. We're going to have to walk. And look, there's an old man over there. I dare you to go up to him and act like a chicken. What? Another dare? Are you kidding me? Yeah, you got to do it. Oh, my gosh, TV Woman. Well, I guess I was walking up to him and pretend to be a chicken. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Old Man. Bah, bah. Hey, dude, what are you doing? Get out of here. Ah! Speaker woman just fell in the pool. Hey, old man, why do you push me in the pool? Now I'm all wet. Because you scared me. Why did you run up to me? Oh, because I was dared to. Oh, no, let's get out of here. Uh, I'll get revenge on you someday. Yeah, sure about that, buddy. I'll be gone in a few days anyways. And girls, that was so hilarious. But guys, I'm literally soaking wet. Well, camera woman, it's your turn. Uh, okay, guys, ask me truth or dare. Uh, how about a dare? Alrighty, girls, that is totally slay. Well, uh, what is the dare that I'm going to be doing. I dare you to call your crush and tell him that you like him. Oh, my crush. Uh, he, uh I don't really know if I want to call him right now. What? Why not, camera woman? It'll be okay. Uh, I don't know about that, guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to call him because I think he's really busy right now. Come on, just call cameraman already. What? What do you mean, call cameraman? Cameraman's not my crush. Speaker man is my crush. <gasps> Speaker man's your crush? OMG, Speaker man. Yeah, Speaker man's my crush. Do you like him or something? Oh, uh, no, but we're the same species. Uh, okay. Hey, well, why does that matter? I'm the one that likes him. So, uh, I guess I'll just give him a call, guys. Here, let me get my phone real quick. Yeah, okay, you do that, and I'm gonna head to the bathroom real quick. You guys, I cannot believe that I'm a crush. Oh, no. She's literally gonna call me any second now. Wait a second. Oh, no, no. My phone's getting rang. Oh, hello? Who is it? Um, hey, speaker man. I just wanted to call and tell you that I like you. Oh, uh, yeah, you like me? Okay, awesome. Hold on, let me get speaker woman. I don't know why she's not here for the stare. Wait a second. Uh, who is that in your background? Um, that was just my friend TV woman. We're having a party right now, but it's skibbity girls only, so you're not invited. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I know. I came to the house and you guys kicked me out. Oh, right. I totally forgot about that. Oh, look. I found her. Wait a second, TV woman. Why do I hear you through this phone? Uh, I don't know. That's really weird, camera woman. I'm just here with speaker woman. Oh, uh, hey, guys. Speaker woman, why do you have speaker man's phone? Oh, uh, I, I just do. Wait a second. Why did your voice just change, speaker man? Oh, uh, what do you mean? Speaker woman, why did your voice just change? Hold on. Something's not adding up here. Uh, speaker Speaker woman, why do you sound like Speaker Man? Why do you have his phone? Yeah, and I'm realizing now, why do you look so muscular? Yeah, you look really muscular, and I don't think girls are that muscular. Oh, guys, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Yeah, it is. Wait a second. Are you Speaker Man? Am I Speaker? I mean, uh, am I Speaker Man? All right, everyone. Today, we're going to be learning about math. Oh, I love math so much. Uh, I hate math. Hey, Skibbity Toilet, don't be so negative. Math is so much fun. Uh, whatever you say, teacher. Come on now. Let us do the math already. Yeah, teacher, let's start the math. All right, Skibbity Toilet. And for the first equation, what is 1 plus 1? What is 1 plus 1? Uh, let me think real quick. I think it should be 0. Huh, 0? Are you serious, Skibbity Toilet? What? Yes, I'm serious, Speaker Man. And I think I actually got it correct. Uh, Skibbity Toilet, that's the wrong answer. What? Are you serious? I swear I just got the correct, teacher. You're such a badoy. <gasps> Skibbity Toilet, what did you just call me? I called you a badoy. Uh, guys, what is that word? That is a super duper bad word. Skibbity Toilet, go to the principal office now. Oh my gosh, teacher, you're such a badoy. Can math is a badoy. Can speak. Speaker Man's a badoy. What? Dude, I'm not a bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I almost just said it. Uh, speaker Man, that word is a super duper bad word. And if you say it to people, they'll get super duper upset. So if I say that word, the people get upset? Yes, yeah, so please don't say it. Uh, all right, teacher. Well, uh, is class dismissed? Uh, I guess so. All right.
well, thanks a lot, teacher. You guys, wait a second. Did you just hear what my teacher said? She said if I say that word, then people get super duper upset. So you know what? I think I'm going to use that word on people because I really want to see what the reaction is. Oh, hey, those speaker man. Oh, uh, hey there, little Timmy. Wait a second, guys. Little Timmy is right there. So what if I say the bedoink word to him? Oh, my gosh. I really wonder what his reaction is going to be. And uh, hey there, little Timmy. Oh, hey, those speaker man. How are you doing today? Uh, my day is doing super good. How is your day, you bedoink? <laughs> Uh, a badoink? What's a badoink? Dude, you don't know what a badoink is? Uh, no, what the heck is a badoink? Dude, badoink is a super duper bad word. And if you say it, apparently people have super duper crazy reactions. So, you know what? I want to go around the whole entire town saying it to people. What? Are you serious, dude? It's a bad word. Here, let me scream it and see if anything happens. Oh, uh, all right, little Timmy. Badoink! Uh, who said badoink? Uh-oh, I guess badoink is a bad word. Little Timmy, go to the principal's office. Why are you serious, teacher? I didn't even know what a bad word. No! Oh, little Timmy, I just said we run for a run. Yeah, teacher. Bye-bye. School's over anyway. Hey, get back here. No, I'm not getting back there, you little bedoink. I'm gonna call your mother. Oh, my gosh. Little Timmy. That was so hilarious. Yeah, dude. This word is literally so funny. And the power is in our hands. We can literally make anybody mad. Yeah, we sure can, little Timmy. We all do. Who do you want to make mad first? Well, since we're right next to the police station, let's go inside and let's do it to the police man. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea, dude. Let's do it first. And after this, we can find even more people to do it, too. Oh, hey, tell me to police man. We would like to file a report. Well, what is it now? You guys are always filing reports for something. Yeah, mister, but this time it's super duper different. We just wanted to say that you're a b b b <laughs> Hey, you a b -b Hey, get back here. You're not allowed to say that word. I'm going to arrest you guys. Wait, what the heck? He's going to arrest us? Oh, my gosh. Whoa, Timmy, we got to run super fast. Oh, wait, that's one speaker man. Hey, get away from me. Quick speaker man, hide behind this dumb store. All right, little Timmy, I think we lost him, but hopefully he doesn't get back later to arrest us. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't. He seemed really mad that we said that word. And that word is literally so funny. I don't even know what it means. Yeah, me neither, dude. But the power is literally in our hands. So we got to keep on saying it to other people. Yeah, because their reactions are literally hilarious. Yeah, they sure are. And I really wonder who's going to have the funniest reaction out of all the people. Hey, who walked up from my lab? Uh, hey there, Mr. Homeless Man. Uh, sorry, Mr. Homeless Man. We were just hiding behind this dumb store. Uh, we didn't really know that you lived inside there. Please don't do anything bad to us. Uh, I won't do anything bad to you guys. But do you guys have some extra money? I could have extra money. Uh, no, Mr. Homeless Man. I'm sorry. Yeah, we have no money here, Mr. Homeless Man. Yeah, I said, give me money, you bedoink. What the heck? He called you a bedoink. Okay, okay. He also pulled out his axe, so we gotta run. Hey, I'm not a bedoink, and why are you trying to hit me with the axe? Oh, no, this is so bad, Speakle Man. Yeah, well, Tim, we gotta run away from this bedoink fast. Homeless Man, you are a bedoink. Oh, my gosh, little Timmy, this is literally so crazy quick. Let's go hide up here in this room real fast. Whoa, that was literally super scary. Every single time that we say badoink to someone, they literally get so crazy. Yeah, they sure do, bro. And that time, the homeless man literally said badoink and hopped out of a trash can with the axe. Like, what the heck? What even was that? I have no idea, bro. Well, here. Let's think of someone else we can say badoink to. Uh-huh. Who is somewhere around here? Let's see. Well, is there anyone in Club Brooks? And no, there's no one here. Well, how about over here? Wait a second, bro. Look. It's that old cat lady right there. She has so many cats. Oh, my gosh. The old cat lady. She's literally the funniest person in the whole entire world. Yeah, dude. She sure is. When we walk in there, say badoink to her. Oh, my God. Pico man, that's a great idea. I think she's gonna get so mad, and hopefully her cats don't attack us or something. Yeah, hopefully it don't. Well, I was walking in. Uh, hey there, Miss Old Cat Lady. Oh, hello. Are you here to buy a cat? Uh, Miss Lady, no, no, no. We are not here to buy a cat. Oh, uh, okay. Well, why are you guys here? Well, because we want to say a special word to you. Oh, uh, okay. That's a little strange, but what word? Well, Miss Lady, we want to say but <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys are such naughty mouths. Get back here. Hey, no, get away from us, crazy cat lady. Ah! Oh, Timmy, run, run, run. Oh, my gosh. By the end of today, we're going to have so many people that are going to be mad at us. Yeah, we're literally making the whole entire town so mad. And I wonder what our consequences are going to be, but I don't think we'll have any. Well, little Timmy, let's just take a break right here. Yeah, that's a good idea, Speaker, man. We are literally just having way too much fun. Like, the reactions on these people's faces are literally so hilarious. Yeah, they sure are. And the reactions are just going to get better from here on. We will, we will. Wait a second, little Timmy. Look, the cops are right there. Oh, no, I think they're after us. Hey there, kids. Uh, have you seen anybody saying the word bedoink? Oh, my gosh. Old Tim is the cop that we said bedoink to. I don't know how he doesn't recognize us. And, uh, hey there, Mr. Cop. Can you repeat what you just said? Yeah, I said, have you seen anybody saying bedoink? There were, like, two kids running around here saying it. I speak, oh, man. This guy is literally so dumb. We're literally the people that were saying it. Yeah, we literally are, bro. Uh, no, Mr. 
police officer. We have not seen anybody saying that word. All right. If you see anybody saying that word, please let me know. All right, Mr. Police Officer. Thank you so much. Well, uh, we're going to be on our way now. Yep, we sure are. See you later. But the like, ha! Hey, you just said, but don't get back here. Oh, my gosh. Don't tell me where are you. Don't tell me where are you going. I don't know. Where are you going, Speaker Man? I thought you were running this way. No, I thought you were running this way. Oh, my gosh. Quick, Speaker Man. He's blocking me off. All right, little dude. We got to hide somewhere fast. Hey, get back here. You're not allowed to say that word. You're under arrest. Oh, no, little dude. The cops are literally on our tail. We got to hide fast. Yes, Speaker Man. This is so bad, but I think we lost him. Yeah, I think we did, too. Look, he's literally down there. He can't even get up here. This word is literally the funniest word in the world. Yeah, it sure is, bro. Wait a second. What the heck is this? Is this a UFO? What the heck? Yeah, why is there a UFO? Dude, I got no idea, but wait a second. What if we stole it? That would be so hilarious. Oh, my God, Speaker Man. That is such a great idea. But uh, who could have parked the UFO right here? I mean, a police officer doesn't have a UFO, Speaker Man. Yeah, that's true. Well, maybe an alien did, but I don't think there's any aliens in Brookhaven. Ah, uh, Speaker Man! Oh, uh, what, Lord Timmy? Wait a second, what the heck? Hello, I'm Flight Commander for Planet Nine. Who are you? Wait, what? Your name's Flight Commander from Planet Nine? Oh, uh, I'm Titan Speaker Man, and this is Lord Timmy, and we're from Brookhaven. Uh, yeah, Mr. Alien, I think you're at the wrong place. This is not Planet Nine. This is Brookhaven. Oh, okay. Well, I'll be on my way now. Boy, hold up, Mr. Alien. What seems to be the issue, mister? Well, I have a question. Do they have bad words on their planet? Oh, my God, Speaker Man, you're a dean, yes. Oh, uh, yes, they have bad words on my planet, yes. They do? Oh, uh, all right, well, do they have the Badoik word on it? <laughs> uh, the Badoik word? What is that? Uh, it's the worstest bad word in the universe. Do they not have that bad word on your planet or something? Oh, uh, no, they don't have that on my planet. Because I am Flight Commander from Planet 9. Oh, well, Timmy, that did not work. So do you think we should just hop in his UFO and steal it? Uh, Speako, man, I don't know if that's a good idea, but uh, let's just do it. All right, well, Mr. Alien, I'll say one last time. You're Badoik. Ha <laughs> ha! What did you just say to me? Hey, wait a second. Give me back my UFO. Oh, my gosh, little Timmy. We just stole an alien's UFO. And whoa, look at us. We're flying. Oh, my gosh, Pico Man. This is so awesome that aliens such a badoy. We are literally flying inside of a UFO. This is so much fun, little Timmy. And you know what? Let's fly to our next destination. Right over here in the barn. Maybe there's someone there that we can say badoy to. Yeah, maybe we can say to the animal. That would be so funny. Yeah, it sure will be, little Timmy. So let's head to the barn. And little Timmy, we're here. Here in the barn. All right. So let's see what animals there are. And wait a second. There's a piggy right here. Uh, hello, Mr. Piggy. Do you even speak? Oink, oink. I'm a Mrs. Piggy. Uh, Speaker Man, this piggy looks really ugly and scary. Yeah, it sure does. I've never seen a piggy that skinny before. Hey, why are you talking about me like that? Wait a second. I didn't even notice. You're literally talking. Yeah, well, Timmy, this is a talking piggy. So wait a second. Do you think this piggy understands bad words? Wait a second, Speaker Man. You might be on to something. Yeah, I know, bro. Wait, hold on, Mrs. Piggy. Do you understand bad words? Bad words? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't like bad words. If you use bad words, you're super duper mean. Wait a second. Oh, Timmy, she actually understands bad words. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. This is literally gonna be so funny. Yeah, it sure is. I'm gonna walk up to her and say, but doink. All right. Uh, hey, Mrs. Piggy. Well, I got a question for you. Okay, what is your question? Oink, oink. Do you understand the but doink word? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Oink, oink, but doink, doink. What do you just say to me? What the heck happened to that voice? Oh, my gosh. Why did your voice go so deep? This piggy is crazy. Yeah, sure. Sure is our UFO got his choice and we gotta run! Yes, he has a gun. Oh no, this is so bad. If you little Timmy, I'm almost out of breath. We lost that piggy. Yeah, that pig was super duper creepy. I can't believe that it knew the bad word. Yeah, me neither, bro. Well, little Timmy, we've been saying bad words all day. So you know what? I think it's about time that we stop doing it. Yeah, me too, dude. We literally said bad words to so many people and they all got so mad. It was so hilarious. Yeah, bro. I'm pretty sure the whole entire town basically hates us now. Yeah, that's not very good. I thought their reactions were gonna be like a little more funnier, but they were still pretty funny, but but uh, everyone's really mad at us. Yeah, they sure are, bro. Wait a second. Uh, Will Timmy, why has this policeman been watching us? Uh, I don't really know, Speaker Man. This is really weird. Uh, policeman, what do you want? You two are under arrest for saying a bad word. Wait, what? We're under arrest? Hey, wait a second. Let us go. We didn't mean any harm. Well, you did cause a lot of harm. You made everybody in the town mad for saying the bad word. Mr. Policeman, we're sorry. Uh, we'll never say bad words ever again. Nope, too bad. I'm taking you to the police station. Wait, what? So we're we're gonna be in jail? No way we're gonna be in jail, Mr. Policeman. We're sorry. We didn't even know that there was a bad word. I'm sorry, Mr. Policeman. Yeah, trust us. Please. Don't put us in jail, Mr. Policeman. We're truly sorry. Well, I had a lot of reports saying that you said the bad word to a lot of different people. Therefore, I'm going to have to give you a consequence. No, Mr. Policeman. Please don't. 
don't know. You want us out? Mr. Policeman. Oh, my God, Spiegel, man. I can't believe that you made me say this bad word. That's why we're trapped inside of here. Whoa, whoa, Timmy. I didn't force you to say the bad word, bro. Spiegel, man, you literally told me that it was a bad word. And then I accidentally said it to the teacher this morning. Oh, my gosh. My mom is going to kill me. Yeah, mine is too, bro. Whoa, whoa, Timmy. More of the story. Bad words are bad, and we should never say that. Yeah, I never saying a bad word ever again in my life. Well, um, it's okay. Oh, guys, I'm so bored today. I wish there was something fun to do. Well, um, what could I do to maybe make myself unbored? Let me think. Huh, maybe one of the Skibbity girls can hang out with me. Yeah, honestly, that's a good idea. So here, I'm gonna call TV Woman first, and let's see if she can hang out with me. Oh, hello, TV Woman. Are you there? Oh, hey, Titan Speaker Man. Why'd you call? Oh, hey, TV Woman. I was just wondering if we could hang out today, because I'm super duper bored right now. Uh, I can't right now. <laughs> Sorry. What, you can? You're always around, though. Yeah, but I just can't find now. What? Are you serious? She just hung up on me. Oh, my gosh. Well, if she can't hang out right now, then maybe Camera Woman can. Well, here, let me call her up. Hello, Camera Woman. Can you hang out? Oh, hey, TV Man. Uh, no, I can't hang out. Shh, TV Woman, be quiet. Wait, what? Did you just tell a TV Woman to be quiet? What? What? No, no, I didn't tell her to be quiet. Okay, well, uh, I have to go now. Bye-bye. What? Are you serious? She just hung up on me as well. Guys, this is so suspicious. I'm pretty sure they're hanging out together, and honestly, I want to hang out with both of them. So I'm going to figure out where they are, and I'm going to hang out with them while here. Let me just hop my beautiful car real fast. Now, I'm going to drive over to both their houses. And hopefully, they're hanging out at one of those places. Huh, so let's check TV Woman's house first. And, huh, is she in here? And hello, TV Woman, are you home? And, oh, wait a second, guys. Her door's open. Okay. Well, I don't hear any of them talking in here. So, I'm just going to sneak inside and let's see. Maybe they're hiding from me. So, I'm just going to check the whole entire house to see. And, no, nope, she's not in this bedroom. Well, maybe she's in the garage. And, no, she's not in there. Oh, man, guys. Where could they even be? Let's see. Maybe they're upstairs. And, no. Once again, they're not even here. Are you serious? Well, guys, after this house, I still have to check the camera woman's house. Well, let's see. Are they in this bedroom? No. Nope. Oh, man, guys. Well, it doesn't seem like they're in TV woman's house. So I'm going to have to go check camera woman's house right now. All right. So let's see. Wait a second. They're both here. Hey, guys, let me inside. Oh, my gosh. Camera woman, quick. Hide from him. No boys allowed. Wait, what? Are you serious? No boys allowed? Dad, get out of here. This is our girl only sleepover. What? Are you kidding me? Girls only sleepover. But, guys, can you make an exception, please? I'm so bored right now. No, this is girls only. Only and you're not allowed. Oh my gosh, guys. Well, it doesn't seem like I'm getting into there. Wait a second. It's a girl's only sleepover, guys. So what if I dressed up as a girl and I try to get inside? No way. That is such a good idea. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Well, I'm gonna have to head to the clothing store real fast so I can dress up as a girl. And after I do that, I'm gonna go back to their house and I'm gonna try to sneak into the girl's only sleepover. And now we're at the Rockstar clothing shop and now it's time to dress up as a girl. And hey there, Mr. Fashion Worker. Can you dress me up as a girl, please? Yo, what's up, dude? Uh, yeah, I could dress you up as a girl. Why do you want to be a girl? Oh, uh, for no reason. All right, well, uh, come ahead over here, and you can pick out some clothes. Oh, all right, well, what clothing should I even wear? Well, you could wear some clothing like this or like this. Hey, yo, what the heck? Do girls really wear that? Yeah, dude, they wear this all the time. And look at this one. This one is also very fashionable. Oh, dude, what even is that? Okay. Well, I guess I'll be purchasing some girls' clothes so I can dress up like them. Yeah, go ahead and try some on, dude, and just let me know whatever you want and come to the counter. Oh, all right, thanks a lot. Well, guys, now it's time to try on some girls' clothes, so let's see. Does this shirt look fashionable on me? And what the heck? It literally plugs in with me. Okay. I think I need a different shirt. And oh, who would even wear this? This is hilarious, guys. Well, here, let me keep switching through the clothes until I find some pink stuff. Mm -hmm. I was later. And perfect, guys. I think I look like a girl now. So I'm going to check out and Hey, mister. I would like to buy these girls clothes, please. Alrighty, dude. You're looking really fashionable, dude. Yeah, I know. Well, it seems like these clothes are going to come to about $50. $50? Are you serious? Yeah, $50, dude. Girls clothes are so expensive, dude. Yeah, I can tell. Well, here you go, mister. Thanks a lot, dude. And have fun. Thanks for the girls clothes, mister. And guys, now it is time to sneak into the Skippity Girls Only Sleepover. And guys, I'm pulling up to their house right now. So let's see. Hopefully, I can get inside. So let me just walk up and hey there guys uh, can i come inside i heard this is a girl's only sleepover oh my gosh is that speaker woman oh my gosh speaker woman yes you can come inside oh my gosh you are looking so pretty today oh wow uh, thanks a lot hey guys i've made it into the sleepover okay well let's see what they're doing now hey guys what are you guys doing we're drinking our strawberry frappuccinos yes we literally love starbucks so much it tastes so delicious speaker woman i love your pjs oh uh, thanks a lot yeah girl they're literally so pretty well uh, i'm gonna go check into my PJs now. Yeah, me too. Oh, all right. 
right, guys. And guys, I literally just made it to the girls' only sleepover. And this is literally just the start of it. I wonder what's going to happen later on. Hey, girl, we're in our PJs now. Oh, my gosh, it looks so good on you. Thank you. Yeah, I know. We're all looking so stylish. We are literally all so beautiful. I think we should start doing our makeup now. What are uh, makeup? Yeah, sure. And after that, we can play games. Yeah, oh, my gosh. We have so many fun games planned. Well, speaker woman, how about we do your makeup first? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Eek, okay, I'm so excited. Well, speaker woman, go ahead and sit on the couch, and we're going to get our makeup supplies. Oh, uh, okay. Guys, this is not good at all. They're literally going to do makeup on me, and they're going to ruin my beautiful face. Okay, we got all the makeup supplies. Oh, uh, okay, girl. Camera woman is going to do your makeup while I do your hair. Yeah, and after I do your makeup, I can't wait to see what you look like. You are going to look so beautiful. Oh, uh, yeah, I sure will. Well, let me go ahead and let me start doing your makeup. Oh, my gosh, it's looking so pretty so far. Let me put the blush. And let me put the eyeshadow. Oh, my gosh, this eyeshadow is so beautiful. I love this shade of pink. And your hair is almost done, speaker woman. Oh, all right, guys. I cannot wait to see what it looks like. Yes, girl. It's going to look so amazing. And we finished, girl. You're looking so fabulous. Oh, yeah. I look so fabulous. Thank you so much, guys. You're the best. Yep, no problem. Well, guys, I think it's time for my second Frappuccino. Oh, get me one. Oh, my gosh, guys. I would love to have a Frappuccino, but I'm going to head to the bathroom real quick. All right. And when you get back from the bathroom, you can get a Frappuccino. Oh, my gosh. These are so delicious. I love Starbucks. Hey, guys. So far, nothing really bad has happened. I only got makeup and my hair done. And honestly, I kind of regret going to this party. But once I get out of the bathroom, I think it's time to play games. So I wonder what's going to happen then. Well, I'm just going to head out and, uh, hey, guys. I'm ready to play the games. Yay, I'm so excited to play games. Let's start. All right. Well, well guys, what games are we going to play? Well, first, girl, we're going to be playing Truth or Dare. Now, go ahead and grab your Frappuccino and go sit down. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'll grab a Frappuccino. And guys, who's going first? Well, speaker woman, you're the guest. So how about you go first? What? You guys want me to go first? Really? Uh, okay. So, speaker woman, truth or dare? Huh, I want to dare. I dare you to walk up to a random stranger and say, I love Frappuccinos. Oh, my gosh. That's such a good dare. What, guys? Are you serious? That dare is so hard. Don't worry, speaker woman. You're so good at talking to people. It'll be so easy. Yeah, because you're so brave and fearless and strong. So, let's go ahead and let's go find a random person. Come on. All right, guys. I'll hop my car. Wow, speaker woman. Your car is so pretty, but it would be better in pink. Yeah, I know. Wait a second. This reminds we have Titan Speaker Man's car. Oh, uh, yeah. We have similar cars. That's why. Oh, my gosh. You guys are like twinsies. Oh, uh, yeah. I know. Well, well, guys, let's go find a random stranger so we can do this dare on him. Girlie, pull over. Do that dare on the man right there. What? You want me to do the dare on that old man right there? Yep. Do the dare on him. Oh, my gosh, girlie. Okay. Well, I guess I will. Guys, hopefully this old man does not attack me. Uh, hey there, old man. Oh, hello there, young man. What are you doing here? Oh, well, Mr. Old Man, I love Frappuccinos. Quick, run back to the car. Oh, my God, that was hilarious. Oh, that was really, really weird. Well, now let's head back to the house so we can do another dare. Oh, indeed. Yas, girl, camera woman, it's now your turn. Oh, my gosh, guys, I am so excited. That was literally so funny. Oh, yeah, guys, it sure was. Well, guys, now it's time to ask me truth or dare. Uh, all right, girl, truth or dare. Um, let's go ahead and let's do a dare. Oh, my gosh, you're so rebellious. I know I am, girl. I'm totally going to slay this. I dare you to paint speaker woman. Its car is pink. Oh, you dare to do what? Hey, your car pink. It looks so much prettier. Oh, uh, no, it wouldn't be. Um, speaker woman, why are you doing a man voice? Oh, uh, I was just super upset. Oh, okay, don't worry. Don't be upset. Pink looks way better on your car anyways. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I probably will. Well, go ahead and hop in the car. Uh, okay. Hey, camera woman, let me on your head. All right, girl, there's literally no more seats in this car. Oh, my gosh, that's so weird. Why would you get a car that only fits two people, speaker woman? Well, because my car is awesome. And why do you just do that man voice again? Are you okay? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. I think I just have a cold. Oh, I don't want to get sick. Yeah, I don't want to get sick either. Do you need to leave the sleepover? No, 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 guys. It's fine. It's not contagious. Trust me. All right. Well, now we're at the car dealership. So let's go ahead and let's park the car right here. And we are going to paint it pink. Oh, uh, okay. So let's go ahead and let's lift this up. And now I'm going to go inside and get the pink paint. Oh, uh, okay, girls. I'll be right there. Guys, I cannot believe this is happening. My awesome red car is literally going to turn into pink. Oh, my gosh. Bigger woman, get inside. Oh, uh, okay, girl. I'm coming. In. Yeah, come on, girl. We have so many shades of pink to pick out. And I think I'm gonna choose this one. Oh my gosh, it's gonna look so pretty. So let's go put it on the car. Uh, okay, girl. So let me go ahead and let me paint this on. And there you go. You're a girl boss now. Your car looks so beautiful. Wow, guys, my car looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh, girlie, I'm so jealous. 
really? Oh, uh, yeah, you should be. Well, speaker woman, now you can drive your new pink car. Oh, uh, yeah, guys, I can't wait. I'm a girl boss. Well, let's go ahead and let's go back home so we can continue the truth or dare. Oh, my gosh, guys, and now we're back home, and now it's time for TV woman's dare. Well, actually, I want to do a truth. All right, well, how about this? Since you're the last person to go, you're going to do a truth and dare. What a truth and a dare? Are you serious? Uh, okay, I guess I can do that. Well, let's go ahead and let's sit down and okay, TV woman. Truth or dare? I choose truth. Well, TV woman, who is your crush? Oh, my crush is Speaker Man. What? Speaker Man? Yeah, is something wrong, Speaker Woman? Oh, uh, yeah. I am literally a part of the speaker species. Well, I can still have a crush on him. Girls, calm down. Now, TV woman, it's time for your dare. I dare you to call your crush. What? You want me to call Speaker Man? Yep, I want you to call Speaker Man. Okay, I'm calling him right now. Oh, guys, I'll, I'll be right back. Oh, no, guys, this is not good. She's literally calling me right now. Okay, okay, I gotta go to the toilet and pick out my phone fast. And, uh, hello. Oh, hi, Speaker Man. Hey there, TV woman. What's going on? Well, I just wanted to say I have a huge crush on you. What? You have a huge crush on me? <laughs> Hold on, TV woman. I'm gonna be right back. Speaker woman seems to be taking long in the bathroom. Uh oh, guys, this is not good. I think camera woman's coming to check on me. Um, Speaker woman, are you okay? Uh, yeah, 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 I'm okay. Hey, Speaker Man just hung up on me. Oh my gosh, girl, why did he hang up on you? I don't know. Oh, huh? huh, yeah, that's kind of weird. Wait a second, speaker woman. What? what were you doing before I came into the bathroom? Oh, I just had to take a phone call real fast. Well, who were you calling? Oh, uh, you know my mom. Oh, my gosh, I'm so upset. I'm going to call him back. Yeah, girl, you do that. Uh, wait a second. What is that sound? Uh, yeah, what is that sound? It sounds like it's coming from your phone, speaker woman. Oh, uh, yeah, how weird is that? Uh, hey. Speaker woman, why are you talking on speaker man's phone? Oh, uh, for no reason. Wait a second.